Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Media Truder, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Hopefully, really hope that you can like hear us right now. Okay, so um, here's the thing. You can't see this. You can't see this in the background, but here's what's going on. Approximately two and a half years ago, YouTube said, "Hey, you know that system backend, the Create Studio that everybody knows how to use and is fine with." And whatever. We've come up with this alternate version where everything's different and nothing works right and nobody knows where the buttons are anymore. And everyone said, actually, I'd rather use the original version because I keep using the original version. You said, yes, of course, we're YouTube. We like you to be able to enjoy YouTube how you want to. So you can freely choose between either version. And that, that was, as I say, two and a half years ago. Um, today's the day they ran out of patience. With said, you. <clears throat> with you. Yes. Because I've not been able to you access to sneak Legacy. In. Yeah. No, I mean, I managed to access <laughs> Legacy on your account now. Yes. But they've removed Legacy for smaller accounts a long time ago. Yeah. I've not been able yeah. to get into Legacy on my account for a while. So, yes, everything. Get the, don't, none of the buttons. Like, we weren't sure we knew. Like, literally, I st we've started the stream and we didn't know where the end stream button was. We don't know. We uh, can't end the stream. We can't. Luckily, I've now found it. Like the the, the turn on button becomes the turn off button when you turn on That's the stream. Revolutionary, which is, John. I know. I I was shocked and appalled. Uh, but we know. We now know that. Look, that was that. It was news to us. Everything's fine. Uh, so yes, everything is. Everything's okay. We don't know where all the buttons are anymore. Everything is going to go wrong. Everything's now also it's it's like dark night theme. Everything's like night theme, which is fine. I'm fine with that, but it clashes with the fact that everything else is light theme. So now I've got a blend of like dark theme and light theme sweets open simultaneously, and I don't like it. It's it's everything should be. You know you can put Twitter in night mode, right? Conceptually, I'm aware it exists. I don't know where the button is. Look, I just want everything to be the same as it was years ago. Right now, we don't know how- we're not sure whether we can end the stream. Hopefully, we'll be able to end the stream. Welcome back to Assassin's oh. Creed Odyssey. We won't let you now. Look at that. Shh. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, we can- I mean, we might be about to- I mean, maybe- Maybe, like, the idea is, like, you know, kill bots reaching their maximum kill limit in future armor. Maybe we just <laughs> have to keep streaming until YouTube forcibly kicks us off the platform. That's the only time we're allowed to stop. Mm -hmm. We don't know. That might be what happens. Uh, so yes, we've got we've got things here, and we're just going to. <clears throat> That's not really where I want it to be. Okay, it's fine. We'll I'll figure it out. We'll, I'll I'll just adjust things as we go. It's going to be great. Meanwhile, I cheated my way into uh, the old legacy. So Claire just managed, Claire just managed to cheat herself in. It was great. So welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where we are here. Actually, there we go. And no, you want to be over there. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's under control. <clears throat> so God, this is. People are really upset that you're using light mode Twitter. Well, guess what's wrong with light mode Twitter? It, it's you know if you're using light mode websites mm -hmm. and your computer's quite bright and stuff, it can hurt your eye. Okay, but can counterpoint also, my people shoulder. I think the dark the dark mode is cool. My, uh, okay. Counterpoint, my shoulder is a lion. And thus I win. So this, yes, this, this, this is my Cassandra, as you can see. I've kind of very much specced her. Just a reminder, I've specced her very much in the uh, direction of assassin damage and a little bit of hunty damage too. But like everything right now is basically assassin damage. Uh, I do enjoy a bit of hunting as well. Uh, but yeah, basically it's it's all about that initial first kill. I enjoy playing Assassin's Creed as a sneaky assassination game. So basically everything is specced to boost assassin damage. That's That's what we got. Everything's going to be fine. And <clears throat> this is fun, by the way. Um, someone mentioned to me last week that um, one of the things I could do is I could go into Uplay and I could find, like, a unicorn skin for my horse. Well, I went into Uplay and I couldn't find a unicorn skin for my horse. What I did, however, find... And this was, this was, I can't remember this was free, whether I paid a tiny number of Uplay points. I found a way to put my crew in red jackets and bowler hats. Entirely historically accurate red jackets and bowler hats. These are the, um... This is what your gang looked like in Syndicate, by the way. <laughs> but it just entertained me quite a lot to, to have my uh, to have my crew uh, dressed up like this. Now I'm curious, actually. Um, hold still. Re no, seriously, hold still. Hold like hold so still right now. And can you shoot their hats off? No, seriously, I would not move right now. No, you can't shoot their hats off. Boo, boo! I say. 
That's that's very disappointing. Now, actually, that's a really big bird. Now, I'm curious whether I can mm. shoot them down. All right, just wait, wait, wait. Yes, you can. Okay, but wait for the one that's above the... That's actually above the thing. And... Dip. Okay, but I missed. But, like, you could shoot those birds down. I wonder if they've got, like... What do they drop? Presumably they drop feathers, but I'm not sure the feathers are, a, are, are an asset that I can gather. Maybe they drop fur. That doesn't seem like a thing a bird should drop, but it's possible they do. Anyway, there's birds. And we're in we're in the sea. And we're supposed to be going to Megara. That's where we're supposed to be going. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's it's really close to where we are. That's a shipwreck we already explored. Uh where are we supposed to be going again? I mean Megara's over there. Megara's over there. And there's a uh, uh, ah, here we go. Journey into war. Yes, this is where we're supposed to be going. So there's more journey into war. And more journey into war. Ah, destroy the Athenian blockade ships. So she was greeted by the almighty Athenian blockade preventing access to the port. Mm. Was I? I don't remember that. Yeah, That's news to me. Apparently, um, there's vendors that will sell a unicorn skin. You just have to scroll down way bottom. I think we saw it. It's just it was way too expensive and we couldn't afford it. But in theory, if I was just to rob at ridiculously high level areas like I did in Ikea last time, that seemed to actually work, which is kind of fun. Uh, so, okay, we just need to basically sink three Athenian ships, which is a big ask. Athens has the biggest, most powerful, well-trained, well experienced navy in the Greek world. And we're just going to declare war. And it's like, <laughs> all right. Uh, Cassandra, I give you I give you bonus points for flipping optimism. I might snip round to the uh, might snip round to this here uh, shore first. However, so okay, just need to remember how this all goes. So just take take command Increase forward. Speed. Don't crash into islands either. And yes, yeah, so I think I roughly remember how all this works. I just hit a small boat. There was no one in it though. I've not killed anybody, so it's fine. I like my new crew. You... For a bit of peace. There we go. It's quite a lot of you. Right, so I think I remember roughly how all of this goes. And then I've got, yeah, I've got my archers. I've got my Toshia, yeah, Toshia javelins, if there's anything to toss javelins at. Okay, I think I've got all of this. Claire, how's everything going? Yeah, everything's pretty good. Uh, shout out to Despot Perrin, the wise of Serbia, who gave us $5 and says, John, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to your last stream. But I had DND via Zoom. Please be nice to Claire this stream. You just made that last bit up. They didn't actually say that. Weapons they did do say that. Here. It did. I'm sure they did. I'm entering a neutral zone, which I assume means I'm not supposed to murder anybody. And to do you want to oh. take bets on how many people he's going to murder, though? No, I'm not going to murder in a neutral. I might. Okay. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to ask you a moral question here. Right. In the event that I go into a neutral town mm -hmm. and I rob it... You and would be the baddie. No, and let me finish. And I rob it and they, very unreasonably, rather than saying, okay, we've caught you, give it back now, try and murder me, and I murder them back purely out of self-defense, is that murder? Yes. I don't think that's murder. So I think the game's a little bit loud right now. I'm going to slightly lower the game's volume. Just so we can hear Claire. Which is very important for some reason. Uh, so yes, we're now in a town. The port of uh, Crasis. And we can just go check out, you know, the blacksmith. See if anyone's got anything good for me. If anyone needs to be, like, robbed. That's a custom marker I set for myself. Apparently I just happened to set the custom marker right there. So we get ourselves set up. Make sure we've got everything we need. And then if we've got everything we need, we can start trying to just flipping ram some stuff. We can just ram some stuff. No photos, please. No photos. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. So, that's level 34 recommendation. Probably we shouldn't go to the level 34 recommendation. Bad call. Bad call over there. Actually, this whole area is Boisha. Okay, uh, yeah, 30, 30, 34 to 38 level. Okay, so this is another one of those higher level areas that I probably shouldn't actually be in. But that works for me. That just means the stuff I can steal is better. Claire? Yeah, uh, we've got a really cute message from Snake Doctor who gave us five pounds and says, John and Claire, my dog Lucy and my cat Ginger were snoozing peacefully together until John said good afternoon and then Aww. they perked up to attention. Oh, that's very cute. There's a lot of dogs in this game, by the way. Look at all the mm. good dogs. Can you pet them? 
I do not believe there is a petting option. And I don't want to do the general interaction button near them, because that's also the assassinate button. <laughs> And I don't want to accidentally assassinate. Well, well done, Assassin's Creed, for that. I don't want to accidentally assassinate anybody. Uh, so we've we've found some people who I shouldn't I shouldn't rob, but there is, however, treasure. Okay, I'm feeling like we just want to rob all of the these people. If we just rob these people, yeah, there's stuff here to be stolen. Let's kill a captain. Find oh, that's one of those riddles. And there's also a, a treasure chest back over there. If we just get the treasure, get the riddle, and then GTFO, then actually I think we'll be good. And there's something around over here. Ah, there's you. You're the captain. You we do not want to take on. Level 34, whatever. And the bird indicates we have caught everything. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is what we do. This, this is what we do right over here. All we do is we just steal all the things. We steal all of the money. And then we just get in over here. And then we just, yeah, we drop in. We steal their stuff. We get out again. And then we are rich. Rich and everything. Yeah, you stupid losers. You stupid idiots. Don't even see me coming. Boom, boom, sneak round the back. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. You're all facing the wrong way, you stupid idiots. You're still facing the wrong way, aren't you? Yes, yes, you're all. Yes, we're fine. Okay, just get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Help myself to some stuff here. That is a level 35 bandit bow. That's going to be worth like 700 gold right there. Then we just sneak back into the bushes, stay around the back, go and get ourselves a uh, a little riddle to try and solve, which could also get us some really good stuff. Looks to me like there's an open thing in the back of this tent, uh, which, yep, there we go. Interact. Hang on, hang on, get back out again, get back out again. Uh, Greece, Boeotia. Sometimes soldiers can be pigs. Actually, if you follow the road going east out of the port, there lies pits full of bloody pigs. You can find me on an altar where a sacrificial pig is being prepared. So, follow the road east out of this port. There lies pits full of bloody pigs. Altar, sacrificial pig. Okay. So, we're just looking for a road going east out of town. Uh, logically, that's this road, so we want to be going in this sort of a direction after we leave town. And apparently, uh, with that eagle, if you wait long enough standing still, it lands on your arm, and then there's a button to pet it? I think I've seen that before, but I've never seen the petting option. Mm. That's cute. Yes, indeed, uh, and I've got a couple of... I've got, I've got some people annoyed about uh, your stance on dark mode, by the way. Uh, shout out to Diathane, who gave us $20 and says, Here's to John and Perception Minus One. Hope you can find all the buttons. Dark mode is live. Is this, is this how ultimately I'm going to end find myself getting cancelled? Because I, I, I said I don't enjoy dark mode and I never put things into dark mode. Yash gave us $5 and says, uh, John, I used the light mode. Me. Now where's that unsubscribe button? Yeah, this is this is it. This is how I end up yeah. getting cancelled. Some people say horrendous things. John just doesn't use a dark mode. I there just don't go. like dark mode. All right, I don't. It looks it's too modern and fancy for me. I like things to look like they were websites that were programmed in the nineties. Damn it! Mm -hmm. I shout out to Noel who gave us ten dollars and says heathens give in to the dark mode. This is to treat Tabby, the almighty yeah. sovereign of sleep. Oh. Also, uh, thanks for all your amazing content and hard work. Oh, well, we do what we can, and Tabby is indeed the sovereign of sleep. Yeah, that is I super think we're going to use that in future. Good old sovereign of sleep as That's she pretty is. Good. She uh, is indeed a sleepy cat. Yeah, I, ha I'm, I mean, I use dark mode sometimes, but I use it, you know, when it's late and I want things to be dark so it doesn't hurt my eyes which i thought was the point <laughs> okay i see bandits over there but i don't see anything like yeah i haven't seen these pits of pigs yet i haven't seen any of that i might be able to just as the, as it's night and they're asleep i might just be able to sneak in open that chest and that's it you know what i think i can do that i mean this isn't where I, what i actually need 
in any meaningful way. This isn't this isn't the pits of pigs that were mentioned. Uh, but all right, uh, Mr. Clip Clop, you just stay right here, please. Stay stay right here. There you go. Okay, it bugs me that you hold B to dismount your horse, but you hold Y to stop uh, to stop commanding your ship. Those should be the same button because you're you're getting off something. A transportation thing. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, as all of you idiots are asleep, we're just going <laughs> to get in over oh, here. No. How many more people have cancelled me? No, but they're talking about how next you're going to have to do a, an apology video about it. <laughs> can I do one of those fake apologies? Can I do one of those fake stupid apology videos where I like, I say, I'm sorry if any of you misinterpreted what I said. Oh, we're very sorry if you were offended. Yes, exactly. And that's another mm. level 35 bow. So long, losers! Oh, just sneaking into high-level areas and robbing them is really cool. But, yeah. I like how the game's totally cool with you doing that. I love it. People are also pointing out that dark mode is, uses less battery. That's true. That's true. Well, Claire, I'm not a rainforest, so what do I care? Okay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're terrible. <laughs> I'm not a rainforest, you're not a rainforest, Tabby's not a rainforest. I don't see how this affects me in any way. Uh, okay, I'm still following the road east out of town. I haven't seen any bloody pig altars or anything yet. Uh, I don't know if I just walk straight past... Oh, controversial! Uh-oh, yes. Barbarian God gave us five euros and says, Dark mode is bad, people. If you're in a dark room, you shouldn't be staring at the phone or other screen at all. It's bad for your eyes. That is true. You should try and not, like, look at screens or your phone just before bed. Yeah, That's but, true. like, if you're in a dark room, you should, like, make sure that there's enough light. And I think for the bedtime thing, it's more important to block the blue light that comes through your screen than dark mode but uh yeah i think i'm just must have just walked past the pigs because i did not see any pigs i'm quite a long way out of town at this point i do not see any pigs oh whatsoever my God. that's an important battle but i'm not ready but i'm not actually planning to help bowie should change hands just yet it's not really a thing i was planning to to do uh that's that's not a thing thing at all Oh, uh, John gave... Another John gave us five dollars. Is this is that like an alt account for you? Could be. Uh, gave us five dollars and says, John, I agree with you. I also don't bother with dark mode. Hey! When it's dark, I just lower the brightness. Yes, that's exactly what I do. On my laptop, I literally have like, you know, little shortcut keys for raise or lower brightness. That's it's every laptop has that, John. Do they? I don't know. I don't know every laptop does. Okay, this is being marked as... Oh. This is being marked as an angry thing. Uh oh, Claire, the angry people are coming this way. Hi, hello. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm fine. Are we? Are me and you? We. Uh oh. Yo. No. No. Okay, he's just going away. Now we can rob all his stuff. Though I suspect there's there's the this this area. This looks pretty well guarded to me. This is a bit well pretty well guarded to me. This is clearly some form of Spartan camp. So this is good. This is very good. Spartan camp means good stuff. That's where the good stuff is. Yeah. There, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is how we get rich. This is how we get rich. That temple up there. New leader discovered. Lyos the Thieving Snake. Okay. Snake. He is the king of Boucherie's level 39. Uh, meaning we probably can't, we can't kill him. Uh, probably. We might be able to rob him. We might be able to rob his stuff. That's certainly a possibility. Where's, what do you want me to look at? What do you want me to look at? Something over there. Okay, it's just more battle stuff. I need to, I need to find some, some nice bat, some nice stuff to, to rob. That's there we go. That stuff to rob. That stuff to rob. That stuff to rob. And is that going to be more stuff to rob over there? We got that. There's more. 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 That stairs. And that's a teleportation point. I think I've got everything. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I see one treasure that's pretty easily accessible. I think we're gonna go and get that. We're gonna we're gonna go rob the king of Boeisha. Which is a very sensible thing to do just after arriving in Boeisha and being a very long way from my boat that would let me leave Boeisha. That 
that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rob, but we shall. Scars from the Persian War. Let's see what we can find, Icarus. Officially, I'm supposed to Off burn war now. supplies. Okay. Um, am I taking a... I'm just taking a, a pro, an anti-Spartan side in this war. I'm about to go burn some Athenian ships. I'm going to go burn the Spartan supplies. I just, I've just decided, screw it. I, I, I'm, I'm my own one-man army. All right, I have simply decided today I shall simply just, you know, I'm, I'm just doing this for myself. All right, that's what I'm doing right now. Is there anyone in here, by the way? I think we're good. And we go. Dinner day. That's not what I meant to do. I didn't see you. Right, just tag you quickly. Dun 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 Right, still, still, yeah. still, still, still. Uh, and shout out to Yash who gave us another five dollars and says that is why dark mode exists, so you can stay to stare at screens in dark rooms. There is literally like a discussion going on in the comments about whether staring at screens in dark rooms being bad is an actual conspiracy theory. <laughs> this is fun. Um, but who who would benefit from this? Please don't. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying it's silly because no one benefits from it. That's that's I, I I'm helping. I'm not engaging with this. I'm not engaging with this. Okay, that's also an acceptable viewpoint. Uh, yes. Folks, mm. just be mindful when you're using screens at any time. If your if your eyes start hurting a bit, maybe less bright screens. That's that's my ston my stance. Can I just set fire to these? Loot. Oh wow, that was a lot of wood. Uh, okay, but I'm also supposed to be burning this stuff, apparently. Okay, can I... Ah, wait, hang on. No, I don't need to do that. Uh, one. Help myself to that. Just make sure there's no one behind me. There's no one major behind me. Right, uh, torch. And then throw. And that should burn those supplies. Yep, screw you, actually. Is anyone going to come over and investigate that, by the way? Oh, everyone's coming over and investigating that. Go, go, run, 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 run. Oh, shit, there was a guy there. Hi, goodbye. Everything's fine. We need to, we need to go. We need to go. I've declared war on Sparta. Horse, we need to flipping. Go, 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 horse. Go. I've declared war on the king of Boeotia. Run, flipping. No, more aggressively fast than that. No, don't go back to where the map marker is. That's into the castle. Okay, we're going back. I've decided we can never come to Boeisha again. Wow, who could have bum ba bum ba bum ba bum 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 ba 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 And Snake Doctor gave us two pounds and says maybe instead of dark mode you should install Flux, which is a software that uh, puts your uh, computer uh, in like different um, light modes. Yes. Right, like warm light. Uh, Blue light can happen during the day, and warm light happens at night, mm -hmm. um, so that you don't get blue light before sleep, which is bad for sleep. Excellent. Um, that sounds like a good thing. I'm gonna just yes, send the it eagle. Yes, it's a good thing. Do you not have that? What the special? No, I've never had any of those special filters you put on your computer. I've never had any of them. I don't see any of these pig things. None of these pig things. Why are you looking for pigs? Well, the, 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 we picked up one of them riddles that said, Go yeah, east no. out of town, look for pigs, then look for an altar with, like, a sacrificed pig on it. Mm. But I didn't see any of that. So we're just going to go... In all fairness, I've just picked up a lot of good loot. I'm just going to flog that in town if this town's got a blacksmith. I don't know if it does or not. And then we're going we're gonna to go before the king starts circulating, you know, looking for quite distinctive woman who is also a mercenary who has a line on her shoulder. Because I feel like I'm moderately recognisable. Like, I feel like, you know, the fact I enjoy wearing the most ostentatious armour possible mm. in some ways doesn't sync up nicely with the fact that I also um, am an assassin. Yeah. In some ways, these two things don't don't go together uh, that that well in, in some ways, in some small ways. Uh, in any case, shout out to the book 778 who gave us five pounds and a little sticker of a dog saying good job. 
and giving you a thumbs up. I'm guessing that, so that I'm, I'm going to guess that was sent before we just tried to go into the King of Boeotia's castle. Yeah, no, that was sent just before, like, as we started and we managed to start. Yes, stream. that was um, entirely reasonable. And Anthony gave us £20 and uh, wanted to know if you could uh, wish Le uh, Leo and Annie a uh, happy birthday for tomorrow. Happy oh, birthday, Leo and Annie. Yes, and... Uh, those are the happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have to go and we can never come back. Everyone get your bowler hats on. We're going. Anthony, uh, I have shown John the pictures that you sent me uh, before the stream started. Oh, those are the ones the cats? Yes, they are always the same cat every week, John. I know, but we used to use so many cats. I just want to make sure rather than presuming. The, the same cats. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to put them in the chat in a second. It's their birthday tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think we're just basically... We're just going to go and smash the hell out of some Athenian blockade ships. Which feels, quite frankly, a little bit on the aggressive side. For, you know, literally I've just arrived or whatever. I mean, I feel like I could just go to this beach over here and just not smash the Athenian ships. But I'm also not going to say no to the idea of ramming ships. Because I enjoy ramming. Okay, just just bring her out, bring her out. Slow her down, slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. Don't don't ram into the cliff either. Don't ram into the cliff. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna sail casual, and then at the last minute, quiet, quiet. The last minute, we're going to flipping ram them. All right, I'm entering the high sea. All right, here we go. Here we go. So. Now, all we do is we act Athenian. Well, I sure enjoy culture, tragedy, comedy, many, many theatrical festivals. I enjoy high culture. We write history so everyone only knows our point of view, which means we know very little about all the other Greek city-states. Ah, yeah, oh, it's good being Athenian. Possible. Let's rob all of our allies and then pretend that, you know, they consented to it. And, okay, they know what they're on to us, they're on to us, they're on to us, they're on to us. Screw you, you stupid losers. Right, okay, and there we go, fire. And I feel like they're they're very on fire. Okay, you stupid losers! Do we want to? Do we need to bother initiating boarding? I feel like we've we've got them. To be perfectly honest, they're <laughs> screw you. Right, just yeah, we're not going to bother boarding actually. I feel like we don't need to board. Okay, so there we go. Now now we just assuming they didn't see that. Now we just sail casual up to the next cast. <laughs> ah, good. Everything is fine. Okay, that's that's fine. So we got yeah, we got archers and then we got javelins. All right, that's that's what we got. We got the archers, then we got the javelins. I see. All right, so just casual, 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 and then when you get to about two hundred meters, that's when you want to start accelerating so you don't run out of steam. All right, guys, go, 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 go. Loot on the way. Ah! That was a good boot. That was a good boot. All right, guys. Guys. Fire. And guys. I... Guys, 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 guys. And attack. And just fire. Fire, guys. Guys, guys, guys. F Why are you not firing? Okay, in which case, just toss all of that in, too. That's all fine, too. There we go. They finally got it. Okay, guys, we're going to start. We're going to start coming around. To see if we can just get a good ramen over here. And there we go. That did some good damage. And prepare. We need to be nice and close. Release. And fire. Oh, we lost the shot. And come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. And the archers. I don't know whether you do or don't shoot. Cause like the javelins you shoot when you release. The archer, the archer fire, not so much. I need to... Uh, they're really not heading straight for us, to be perfectly honest. Okay, just wait to get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. And... Him, um, and... Go! 
that should do some good stuff. Right, you know what? Now we can probably initiate boarding. There we go. We did it. We're through. Loot the ship. Screw you, Athens. There we go. You can't board because you sunk it. Yeah, well, I don't want to board it. I sunk them. That's you don't want to board it because that's how you get more loot. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, they're being eaten by a shark! <laughs> That's so good. Now they're being eaten by sharks. Anyway, um... Whee! Shout out to Yash who gave us five dollars and also the information that boarding can only happen can only happen after you've defeated a ship and get you more loot. Um... <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, shout out to uh, Trav has cooties. Uh, who gave us two dollars and uh, sent us a little uh, sticker of a pear um, waving with his hand and uh, saying cool. Excellent. So there you go. Okay, it was so very cute. Some um, people have taken offense uh -huh. to me murdering all those people. Uh, so we need now need to go and kill those people uh, so they stop putting, you know, trouble on me. Uh, oh, bounty sponsor. The bounty sponsor is level 42. Oh my God. <laughs> I've got a lot of uh, headphone users in the, in the chat who are a little bit upset at your evil laugh. <laughs> it does, uh, you know, um, we've tried this and John can't really do the evil laugh aside from in live streams because it genuinely scares, it scares the No, that's, 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 that's my frantic laugh. The, my evil laugh is... <laughs> that one scares Tabby. Uh, that one scares Tabby. So we don't do it, ever. Not yeah. even in live streams. We don't do that because Tab genuinely Tabby like looks up and she looks really spooked. So we'd never do the evil laugh. Okay, although the bounty was is only twenty three gold and I've got three thousand five hundred gold, I'm going to hunt this dick down. Okay, okay, really uh, interesting, uh, really interesting thing from Yash who gave us another five dollars and says if you aim and shoot, then it will be arrows which are long range, but if you shoot without aiming, that'll be javelins. If you aim and shoot, so if I, I just tap, yeah, and then release. That's uh, arrows. Yeah, that's you... arrows, but I don't see how I make them fire. Oh, okay. So it's tap R T to throw the javelins, hold L T, then tap R T to make them fire. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, misunderstood. I now understand what we are doing. Yes. <laughs> The problem with the laugh isn't the volume, it's just disturbing. I, I'm quite proud of my evil laugh. I, I think I do a good evil laugh. I think I do a good Emperor Palpatine impression. I think I could be an excellent emperor. Like when, when Yes, no one is disputing the fact that you would be an amazing supervillain. I think I'd be a really good supervillain. I think I'd be a great supervillain. Okay, there's something going on over there. <laughs> Oh dear, yes. Shout out to Estelle who gave us $2 and says, We never do this, John says, whilst doing the thing. To demonstrate the thing we don't do, yes. Anyway, shout out also to Adelon who gave us £10 and says, uh, so, my flatmate, so my flatmate asked me why my book was so thick. Okay, what's the punchline? I told her it was a long story. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh dear. There's apparently a sunken chest inside this tiny bay we're passing by. Uh, and also a thing that needs to be burnt down. I'm willing to just nip ashore and say hello. I like just nipping ashore. I don't know whether these guys are hostile to me or not, to be perfectly honest. So we'll see. Like you, The nice thing is like you get... I, I'm really enjoying this game, and part of the reason is, it feels very organic. Which is, you know, the game just kind of gives you this massive thing in a boat and just says, go where you want. You want to go into a stupid high level area where people will one shot you if you get caught? Mm -hmm. Do it. You can do that. If you if you rob them and you can you can get away with it, you get to keep it and you get lots of money. You want to just go ashore some random place? Do it or don't. I don't care. You want to yeah. go into like the king of Boeisha's house and rob him? Do it. I love it. Yeah, just uh, to point out, uh, Yash gave us another five dollars and says uh, a gameplay advice thingy for John. Level level scaling in this game is exponential, so you'll do nothing to people too far above your level. Yeah, but you can still you... rob them. Yeah, exactly. You can we, still rob them. We did that last stream, right? Yeah. We did that last stream where we uh, snuck into a big 
hideout, I think, yeah. right? Well, that's what we just did now as well. Yeah. That was a high level area. The King of Boisha was like, is like 30 levels above me. So, like, yeah, I could have. You ran away screaming really quickly. I didn't realize you'd had time to, like, rob anything. I got some good level 35 gear out of that. And I'm in a level 8, so I can't use it, but I can sell it for mm. really good money. That's the thing. Uh, but these bandits over here, they are, yeah, they are not so uh, tough. But I can also just, I know if I can just rob them. They're mm. a little bit close together. <laughs> to be honest, but that's all fine. I'm just, it's very, very subtle, highly subtle, and just swim away. Swim away, we're gonna rob them. We're gonna rob them first, and then maybe we'll kill them. Let's see how I feel about it, all right. Sometimes I murder, sometimes I don't, all right. Sometimes, sometimes I'm a lover, sometimes I'm a fighter. I'm a complicated person of multitudes, as you're aware. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Here we go. Dear, oh dear. Mm -hmm. You're on your own, aren't you? Yes, you are. And no need to... Oh. Okay, this has gone a little bit on the wrong side. This has gone a little bit on the wrong side, but that's fine. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, and... Come in for an attack. It, oh, I'm a bit slow on my parries here. There we go. Yeah, I've got a pretty good sword, so this shouldn't be too difficult to do. And, oh, you were coming in with that. I think you need to be locked on for it to actually do anything. And, oh, I'm I'm actually in. Oh, I'm desynced. Okay, I just so I'm a bit out. I'm a bit out of. Uh, I'm a bit out of. Uh, a bit out of Practice. habit. Yes, it's been a little awesome played this, so the sneaky roundy is fine. But I just need to get myself back into the parrying, light, heavy bow, etc. Just yeah, and a uh, shout out to Jay, uh, who gave us five pounds, and says, hey, I just wanted to say a massive thanks, as, as you've helped me through uh, so much stuff mentally over the past couple of years. Also, be nice to Claire, John. Huh? Hey, what are you doing there? And we'll just shoot all those individuals too. That's, that's, that's all fine. There we go, you can all die now. And, excuse me. Oh, yep, yep, yep. yep. Right, you get over there. Everything's fine. It's yeah, it's, it's X is the dodge. That's what threw me. X is the dodge. You are the king. Okay, wait and come on. There's also more archers over there. You're very slow to respond to all of this. Now you're just in the sea. There we go. And no, you don't. Oh, there's a puppy. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Right, you just need to excuse me. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's wolves. Oh, there's, there's, no, 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 don't do that. Okay, bad wolf, bad wolf, bad wolf, bad wolf. Okay, and go, 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 go. You're also, okay, we took care of the wolf. And, okay. No, no, no. And he's not going over to up. He's almost fine. And bandit leaders are dead. I thought the other one was a bandit leader. Okay, that's fine. Everybody's okay. Yay! That was very scruffy. That was very scruffy. But I enjoyed it anyway. Loot! I'll be having some Athenium Linothorax and some money. This was... Because it was... Oh, bloody hell, there's another wolf. Excuse me. Excuse the flip me. And... Yeah, oh! God, my tummy's... I'm about to die to the wolf! Screw! That's a puppy, John. It's not a wolf. It's a... It's a, it's a wolf. It's a wolf. Okay, you have you have gear better than what you're equipped with. I might do, I might not. You never know. Uh, I just need to get back to that. But yeah, light, heavy, and little dodge, big dodge. All right, little dodge, big dodge, cardboard box. That's all I need to do. Yeah, and uh, shout out to Marcus who gave us fifty pounds. Oh, thank you very very much indeed, Marcus. Uh, and says love the evil laugh. It's a good laugh. I'm very happy with it. Is it though? It's excellent. Oh no. 45, 49, uh, but it's all warrior, so no, I refuse. Hey, John. Yes. Uh, Ezio Auditore gave us $2 and says, John, can I hear your best American accent? <laughs> Wait, I know, I'll, I'll do you one better. I'll, I'll do my best American John evil laugh. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> Little lady. Oh my god. <laughs> Anywho. 
anyway, um, I, I have made perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ill Kitty gave us five dollars and says, "I'm not usually one for Assassin's Creed games, but you convinced me to buy this one, and I'm loving it. Thank you." I mean, I really kind of just got a bit bored of the franchise a while ago, and like, though I like never had a bad, and I've never played a bad Assassin's Creed game. Even Unity wasn't that bad. It was fine. But I get bored of them fast. And I haven't got bored of this one at all. I've just had a lovely time with that. I've, I've really had a nice time with that. Yeah, I know I've got better bows than what I'm carrying, Gabe. But I can't <laughs> use them. Because they've got a thousand DPS. So that's uh, that's not a thing. Dear, dear, shout out to King Arthur who gave us two euro fifty and says, Oh, brave Sir John, bravely. Run away, away! It's part of my strategy as an assassin, all right? I'm, no, to I'm, be fair, he did murder all the wolves and stuff. Yes, I murdered every puppy. Um, and I'm not supposed to be a fighter. I'm an assassin, all right? I could be much better as a fighter if I spec myself to warrior damage. But I'm not. I just flounce around with a lion on my shoulder, a massive golden eagle on the front of my boat, being the least, the most ostentatious astash, uh, there, assassin you've ever known in your life. And that's, that's how we do, all right? We are just the most ostentatious astash. Yeah, I can't say ost ostentatious astash. Ostentatious assassin, That's John. really hard to ostentatious say. Ostentatious assassin, ostentatious assassin, ostentatious assassin. Maybe you, were, you just suck at language. But you were, you were struggling a bit at the end there. Yeah, but I did it. Though. That's a shipwreck somewhere over there. I did it in a second language. You right. did. It's like doing it in heel backwards. Doing it what? In heels backwards. In heels backwards. You know what how Ginger mean? Rogers did everything that Fred Astor did, but in heels backwards. So she was better. Okay. Oh, it's a thing. Sorry. Yes, that thing you just said. It's a thing! Yes. Those words you just said that made perfect sense. It's definitely a thing. Go. Anyway, shut up to Scott who gave us five dollars and said, Hi John, greetings from Vegas. I live where the NCL sharecropping farm is in Fallout. Oh sweet! <laughs> Thanks for keeping me sane during all this. That's that's excellent fact right there. <laughs> excellent. And Michael Mordred gave us ten dollars and says, "Hey, lovelies, I can't stay for the stream because I have work today." You're in the chat, Michael Mordred, right now. Um, they're opening my state back up for business, so things are stressful. You guys are on my source of relaxation, and I appreciate you. Oh, well, thank you very, very much indeed. And that reminds me. And I'm sorry that they're reopening your state because it is frankly ridiculous to be reopening anywhere right now mm -hmm. um but yes right down we go and there is a new <laughs> there is a treasure take this one out yash gave us two dollars claire i think you you know what i think you should get to read some a of them frothy some. ostentatious assassin a frothy ostentatious assassin a frothy ostentatious assassin i don't know how you just did that that's un, that's completely it's it's it's, it's not english it uh -huh. doesn't make any sense I just picked it. I just created, I just got elite Spartans out of a chest at the bottom of the ocean. I don't know how the hell that works, but okay. Um, that's a thing. I just got just got some elite Spartans out of a chest. How does that work? Um, I mean, it seems good. Is that actually good? I assume that's good for my boat. Do you? Do, would you guys like to be replaced by elite? Does that actually make any difference, or is it purely? Is it purely aesthetic? Uh, okay. Thought it was formidable opponents on land feared at sea two. Peloponnesian War was one in part due to their navy formidable. Yeah, but what does it do? Does it does it does it change the bow? It doesn't seem to. No, I just found Spartans in a chest at the bottom of the ocean. No, it's just a theme. So in which case we'll be we'll be keeping the gang members because they're wearing bowler hats, which entertains me more. And are we moving backwards, guys? What, guys? Why are we moving? Guys, what are ha Stop it, guys. Seriously, stop. Uh, we need to... We need to find our way to, to somewhere. Oh, we're close by to the Isthmus of Corinth. That's cute. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we need to go over here and check in with somebody. Uh, yeah, we destroyed the blockade. We need to search for our father. Uh, she was stopped by an officer called Stentor who refused to grant her... I feel like we're hearing about things that are happening in the future right now because we don't, we haven't been stopped by an officer called Sentai. I feel like the, the, the quest markers are kind of spoil. They're providing spoilers for the game, which is oh, that's bringing us dangerous. That's your opinion on quest mar uh, markers in general, still, isn't it? It's true, but like literally, this one is telling me what's here when I haven't got there yet, which feels weird to me. Um, 
Okay, we might go back to that beach, because there's some form of town up there. So if I just went back to that beach and looped around, that would bring me in the right direction. Though I'm going to pass by whatever this is first. There's like something over here. So guys, bring them around, bring them around, bring them around, and then just bring the... Hello, Mr. Shark! Uh, and then we just head in this direction. Hello! We're going to be friends, me and you, Let's Mr. Go. Shark. I'm going to feed you yummy, yummy Athenians. Yum, 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 yum. Everything is good. All right. In we go. We're going to figure out what this is. Is It, it looks like a, a dock to me. Can we, can, can we dock here? Can we dock? I'm not sure we can dock here. Well, stop for the time being. Check that they're all, like, friendly and whatnot. Are they, are they cool? Is that... Oh! That looks like a riddle to me. Are the rest of you cool, by the way? Are you... Oh, no. They, these guys are dicks. Okay. There are some small dick problems around over here. Nothing we can't handle. In fact, actually, we might be able to get in, get the riddle, get the... Get everything and then get out again. Because it looks to me like, actually, all the good stuff's on the dock. So we can just get in and get out. Yeah, that's fine. That actually works really nicely for me. No other treasure over there? No, no treasure over there. Okay. The, hopefully they haven't noticed the giant boat... That's just chilling out right outside their camp. Because they never seem to. Alright, in we flipping go. This should be a nice, easy theft. Yet more good money for me. With which I might be able to buy a unicorn. Claire, all yours. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Canada's Bacon, who gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, no stupidly last... No stupidly large super chats from me, I'm afraid. Something, something, financial responsibility grumble. You know what? I think that's very fair. I think, Candace <laughs> Bacon, you have paid your dues for a great long time into the future. Yeah, uh, and says, I hope a couple of smaller donations will suffice. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you very, very much indeed. Oh and my god, did you start talking about... What? No, that's fine. That's fine. We can just delete all those messages. Okay. Quoting you when you say stupid things. Okay. So, Greece, Corinth, rock and roll. Back and forth along the Diolcus. Talk about repetitive work. That's the fastest way to get a boat across the mainland you may feel mocked. Along this path stands a statue of Sisyphus. Eh, Sisyphus pushing his boulder up a hill. Find me in a cave behind the statue. I'm on a table with a sacrificed body. So, okay, yes, in modern Greece, by the way, they have actually, as you probably kind of noticed just at the map, this is a fun actual fact here. Obviously, if you wanted to get a boat from here to here, it would be, you know, easy to go through rather than around. So, yeah, yeah putting boats on logs and just rolling them was a thing that would on occasion be done. Um, so in is there like a little path? In modern Greece, however, they've actually, there is properly an instance. They oh, built, there's, built there's, a there's a, there's a man-made canal. Uh, they put a man-made canal now, so you can actually just sail a boat straight through. It's not very big. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's not for the biggest boats. Like, super tankers wouldn't be able to go mm. through. Uh, they'll just go around the bottom of Greece. But there is actually a small, actual, proper isthmus these days. So, uh, I mean, we know where we're going in that case. Uh, we're just passing through uh, this area. Technically, we're in Corinth, which is a higher level area than what I'm supposed to be. But if we just follow this road, we're looking for a statue of uh, Sisyphus. So it's going to be around here somewhere so in which case uh i think we'd like to go and investigate that uh are you going to not turn around i'd like you to not turn around please don't turn around for a minute okay just don't turn around for a second there we go help myself to some treasure and yeah close that for now that was a level 21 helmet I'm a little bit nervous about the fact you could turn around at any moment, but we're just going to try and make it into, like, a bush over here. And now we're in the yellow section. We're out and we are safe. Okay, so they don't care about us anymore. That's cool. So, yeah, we're now looking for a path along here where we might want to, yeah, look for a statue of Sisyphus, which should be pretty easy to find, a massive statue of somebody Ooh. pushing a rock up a thing. Yes. Here's something you're going to like. Anthony uh, says uh, Aristophan Aristophanes. 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 Yeah. Sorry, Aristophanes made a joke about uh, 
the road across the isthmus that was extremely sexual, which sounds like something Aristophanes would do. I think that's one of the jokes from the end of Lysistrata, if I'm mm. remembering correctly. I think that's what that is. Uh, now, where's that Sisyphus statue that they mentioned? Because this is around over here. This is... Oh, is that it over there? That's it over there. Okay, so that's it's over there. Uh, set a marker to over there. So yeah, when you're in the birds, you can set a Ooh. man, you can set a marker, and then you can just retrace your way to it, which is very bloody convenient. Uh, so okay, while we're passing by this building site, check whether this building site might potentially contain yeah. anything good. This is the wall of. Oh, this is the wall of Nicaeus. Okay, this is wait. No, this can't be the wall. This isn't the wall, as in the wall of the Peloponnesian War. We're in the wrong bloody county for a start okay that's that's a weird thing that's a weird thing to actually write the wall uh the wall in the case okay so Nicaeus, famous statesman um generally when you talk about the wall when you're talking about um athens is so okay here's athens over here and here's the port of Piraeus over here mm -hmm. and here's some countryside now that's going to be a problem if you're a naval power that can't have land superiority all the time isn't it yes because you want to bring you want to bring goods into your port and you want to feed your people who live in a city but how but how are you gonna ensure port goods get from point a to point b if you don't have land superiority if you're nikaeus you simply say well what if we just built like one wall literally along from athens to the port and then another wall like 10 meters away from it and we literally just build a corridor and that's it we just build a bloody corridor between the port and the city and it worked it worked, <laughs> which is nuts, but it did. He just built a massive wooden wall, and this caused a lot of controversy. Uh, well, this caused uh, religious problems, because okay. during, well, they, they did this more than once. They did this during the Persian War, they did it during the Peloponnesian War. This was a strategy that Athens used several times. And according to Herodotus, they sent a message, they basically sent an, a, a messenger to the, the oracle at Delphi, mm -hmm. and they said, how are we going to defeat the Persians? Yeah. Um... And I'm trying to remember the exact wordplay, uh, the exact uh, wordplay here. And it was, I can't remember the exact wordplay from my head, but basically the, res the, res the response was ambiguous because Delphic oracles always are. Yeah, yeah. But it was ambiguous in such a way as um, it was like trust in the wall, which one person chose to interpret as the walls that we're going to build to the Piraeus. And another person chose to interpret as oh, it means our fleet because we yeah. arrange them in long. Oh, I see. We yeah, arrange our fleet. The... We arrange yeah. our fleet in a, in a long line. That That's sense. how our fleet. And like it was it was up to interpretation as to how uh, that was interpreted, which is really cool. Sorry. See, you're being educated. This is education right here. Yes. But the problem, John, with the education is that uh, a moment ago you uh said a thing without watching your words and then the chat explodes and I was dealing with that so I didn't hear half of the edumacation. Mm -hmm. Well you I can I can edumacate you whenever you want. That's fine. Like, you know, you you've you've got you've always got my attention. You can just ask me things. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we have everyone? I would make a joke about how that's annoying, but I'm a giant nerd and I enjoy it, so whatever. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Right, okay, so we got ourselves a couple of chests while we're passing by too, so I'm not turning down free stuff in a high-level area. I mean, honestly, I feel like just going into high-level areas and robbing them is actually a really good strategy for, like, rushing some early game, uh, some early game stuff. It's quite useful. Back while I'm here. And I'm not seeing anything else here. You've got your back to me, don't you? Yes, you do, you stupid idiot. I'll just be having all of your stuff. Right, and take take the good loot, because that's the important loot. And then have all of this. There's a level 20 waistband, which is going to be probably worth, like, maybe four, 500 or something. Uh, and... Aww, there's loads of people in the chat saying thank you, uh, John. This is great history. This is really interesting. Keep going. To be that's clear, that's not really history, because anything from the Delphic Oracle is... Not re like is to be interpreted as not really history, to be perfectly honest. Though, and the thing is, like, it's not like that's like some the, the Delphic Oracle wasn't really for real. It's like some like modern cynical. Well, I don't believe in this religion, therefore it has no intrinsic value whatsoever. Ha 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 ha. Uh, like the there's a really fun thing. Uh, like my favorite fact about the Greek, the Greek Delphic Oracle. This is like this is the most important, significant religious oracle in all of Greece. 
is, and I'm sure you, you some people may hear this, it's not exactly an, an ill-known fight, a fact. In fact, I, I, this, this, I find this so interesting, and so I've got it written, it's written on a piece of paper that's printed oh, yeah, out, that's yeah. pinned over there. On the board. On yeah. the little board that I keep with just like little, little mementos that, that I keep from my past. Um, and what's written about, or what was written, it's gone now. What was written above the, uh, on the, uh, above the door of the Delphic Oracle is, uh, Gnothi Seautom. And what that means is know yourself. And just consider what that means. Like, you've literally travelled to Delphi. The whole reason you've come is to ask the future. Yeah. And before you ask, like, a weird mystic who sits on a... Who sits in a room, a smoky room, and tells you a riddle. Before yeah. you go in there and ask her your question, what the temple itself tells you is know yourself. Before you ask about the future, know yourself. Yeah. And it's, I find that really, I just find that very interesting and moving and, 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 and very appropriate. Profound, it's very profound because, because... It, it basically means, you know, the, the only way, the only way you're going to get any significant knowledge of the future is by knowing you yourself because you yourself is the only you're, you're the person who's going to make your own future yeah and that's what's really interesting because in greek tragedy in greek culture there's an awful lot of talk about fate yeah. we t there's talk about fate a lot in fact like most of the tragedies and the homeric epics and everything what they ultimately boil down to is that the true tragedy is very often not oh someone's dead my wife's dead my son's dead i'm sad mm. the tragedy is this didn't have to happen no one forces this to happen it happened okay. because it was fate that it's going to happen mortals yeah. are are <laughs> bound to die we are humans, we have to die sooner or later, we can't avoid that. That is the tragedy. Not the fact that a particular person is dead and you're emotionally sad about it, the fact that everybody has died. Yeah. Mortality itself is the overwhelming theme of most tragedies, rather than the particular tragedy you're looking at. But what's really interesting is you can see Greek thought evolving over time. So in, Ho in Homer, there's a huge amount of stress on so-and-so had to die, that's the fate of mortals, ain't that sad. But if you look in later tragedies, like the tragedies of Sophocles in particular, mm. you'll notice that the, the ethos shifts. Yeah. It's no longer about, oh, isn't it sad that everyone has to die and that's fate. Fate drops out, because fate isn't that interesting narratively. Yeah. Really. I mean, you know, it makes a good point that, you know, we're mortals and we have to accept that and it's sad that everyone's going to die sooner or later. But it's not, you know, you can only do so much with that narratively. But in, in Sophocles, the tragedy is human. And it is a tragedy that was not fated in any way whatsoever. You often find tragedies like this happens in Antigone in particular. I try oh, Antigone's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Antigone's a good example you do of have this. Feelings I have feelings Antigone. about Antigone. Ajax is another. Well, Ajax is a bit more middle of the road. Antigone's probably the best example. Because in Antigone, no god ever steps up and says, Right, well, you're going to be fucked, and you're going to be fucked, and you two are ending up dead. And that's just how it goes because three fates once spun it, run spinning the wolf spread. Wolf spread spindles rub, whatever the fuck it says in Catullus. I'm not good at thread. Um, that's a famous poem, and that's Catullus 64, by the way. Uh, it's it's a famous kind of uh, reprieve that gets repeated during uh, during Catullus 64. It's very good for Catullus 64. Um, but like instead, these are human-made tragedies where nobody forced it to happen. It just happened because two people were dicks, and that's kind of uh, I find that a lot more interesting. And that's how kind of tragedy evolves over time when Greek. Uh, Greek, oh. uh, Greek writing becomes more sophisticated, which I think is fun. And uh, uh, Anthony points out another, like, uh, example of the Oracle at Delphi being, you know... Hugely confused. ambiguous. Yeah, exactly. Hugely uh, ambiguous, uh, yes. Um, Creotius being made a prophecy, being told that if you attack the Persian Empire, great, kingdom will fall. And yeah, and it could be his. the Persians or it could be his, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And then... And then, of course... The point is always that Come people on. try Wait, to. Wait, wasn't that? Hang on, that wasn't that. Wasn't that Croesus himself that asked that? And it was. It wasn't him attacking the Persians. He was the Get Persian king. Look, I don't know. I read the message that they gave me. Okay. I may be misremembering. I don't know classics. I just know how to do tongue twisters better than you. I may be misremembering that, but I thought that was one of the Persian kings who asked about attacking Greece. But maybe Odyssey. I'm backwards. Mm -hmm. Was it Darius? Maybe that was Darius. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, all I need um, is all I need is a shop. I need to I need to unload some of this stuff. Following this magnificent history lesson, shout out to King Arthur who gave us two euros fifty and wanted to know uh, uh, and and says uh, hands up who got aroused by the American laugh. <laughs> oh 
God. Oh dear. Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, There's a blacksmith. Got one. Cool. Uh, and shout out to Travis, who uh, gave us $2 and say, uh, okay, John, come on. Not all of us from the US are uh, from Montana, which apparently... Apparently that's the accent I do. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who bloody knows, eh? Mm -hmm. You know what you need. Uh, Croesus was king of Lydia. Yes, this was, yes, the Lydian king. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, right, yeah. Um, uh, it's been a while since I've read my Herodotus. All right, we're going to make some money here. That's going to be worth, that's going to be worth, that's 91 gold. That's another 91 gold. Uh, that's 200 gold. Uh, that's 200 gold. Uh, that's 152 gold. Uh, so we got, we got some good stuff going on here. That's 76 gold. See, I've got like, I've got a fairly large amount of gold. That honestly can go at this point. I'm never going to use that again. Uh, and I'm never going to pay to upgrade it because it costs too much. Uh, so we can start clearing some of this out at this point. That's 49 Warrior. That's also 49 Warrior. I'm pretty sure I think that one looks better. I didn't like the way this one looked, so we can get rid of that. Uh, so we can just start selling some of this out. That's Warrior damage, and it's only 20 and it's level 5. Uh, 5, 2, and 2. Honestly, this stuff is, is getting to the stage where it just needs to be got rid of. Because I'm never going to use it. Because I've got Superior gear, basically, that I've already got. So I'm just going to start selling some of this stuff. Get it out of the way. Uh, to be honest, that's a 20 to 4 assassin damage. 20 to Hunter is not terrible. Actually, that's 22 to Hunter, so that can go. Uh, and that's assassin damage, but I've already got 4 assassin damage, and yeah, that can go as well. I know it's rare stuff, but blue's hardly the rarest anyway, so I'm kind of fine with it, to be honest. Uh, that's 5 and 1, that's 4 and 4, and much better. Actually, when I say much better, like one better. I'll see how it looks. I might make my decision based on that. And that can just be sold. That's a rough sort. I feel like that's not that interesting. Uh, okay, but, 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 do we have any better stuff floating around? Like, you know, good, interesting things. Like, uh, anything that's like, say, sexy and exciting and rare or is purple. You have, there's a uni, okay, Claire, we're like, we're three fifths of the way to unicorn. Okay, but is that unicorn skin still going to be there when you come back with more money? Well, I've seen it before, so I think it might be just everywhere. Yeah, okay. It's like something people just work towards. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I think it might just be there uh, down the line anyway. So, okay, we, we've sold what we needed to sell. That's the important thing. And uh, remember, of course, that uh, if you get uh, an armor that has better stats, you can still make it look like the one you're currently wearing. Yes. So that it looks better. That's true. Yes. I can't. Where, do, do we ever figure out where the button for that was, though? Uh, well, chat will let us know, of course. Uh, uh, and shout out uh, in the meantime to Roman Totale, who gave us $25, and to Jeff, who gave us $5, and neither of them left a message. Well, thank you very much, regardless. Yes, indeed. And Ryan gave us 21 Canadian dollars. Ooh, good dollars. And says, hey, John and Claire, I just want to say hi from Toronto. And I bought Odyssey from watching you play it. It's getting me through this pandemic. So thank you for me. And go, Raptors, go! I mean, if you have a team called Raptors, that's, that's a pretty, pretty good, good name. Yeah, that's a pretty good name. You know, to like, if you're going to be cheering for a team. I mean, um, if you're taking on like the Broncos or the Seagulls, then yeah, it's pretty <laughs> damn good. Uh, Mac or Mordred gave us five dollars uh, and says here's five dollars towards the John should sing a shanty fund. Oh, I owe we people a shanty. That. After the last shanty where I did, I couldn't remember the tune for uh, uh, Roll Your Chariots Long. I looked it up to make sure I could do it because I owe that person who I believe they super chatted. I owe that person. I think I'm in a sacred fountain right now. Uh, I owe that person. Uh, uh, the chorus. So next time we're on the boat, you will get the chorus of Roll Your Chariots Along. Because I actually looked it up. Mm -hmm. Because someone did donate for that and I was unable to sing it because they literally didn't have it. I didn't didn't know what the uh, what the tune was of the chorus. I couldn't remember the uh, the verses. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that for you today. Uh, anyway, shout out also to Osiris who gave us ten pounds. Uh, and says here's to the first of oh, hopefully many streams while I work from home. Uh, and uh, Dude Diablo 55 gave us five Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and uh, says, hello, I hope your nephew had a great birthday. Lovingly fall at New Vegas useless speedrun. Hilarious how many times you say everything is all right and then die. Yeah, but then we think, but from that we learn. It's like like the, the common refrain of Greek tragedy. Through suffering comes understanding. 
That's, uh, which is a very very sad way of thinking about the world, but it's very true as well. Mm. Uh, and yes, for those of you who don't know, the reason we were a little bit late today is because it was my nephew's birthday. And, you know, he was a bit sad because we couldn't actually go and do a birthday party for him. So we all got on Zoom together and to see him nice. happy birthday. It was very nice. And then my aunt pulled out puppets and she ruined everything. Oh, shush. <laughs> my aunt with her bloody puppets. <laughs> She is a treasure of a woman. My aunt is an absolute treasure. I have the love, most lovely aunt, but she does enjoy puppets a bit too much. Okay, it was cute, John. He's a <laughs> child. He's very little. Okay? Uh-huh. That's no excuse for puppets. I think I'm riding her down into the sea right now. I feel like I'm, I'm going... Yeah, I definitely need to turn right there. We definitely need to turn... Oh, shit, I forgot about the, the statue of Sisyphus. Need to go back to the uh, statue of okay, Sisyphus. Okay, so... Uh... The bread that caused Les Mis, which, again, I have to say is one of my favourite usernames ever. Well, of course. Uh, <laughs> says that in order to change the gears, you, uh, uh, in order to change the look of your gear, you need to press X. So this okay, hang on. Let's check this. Let's check this. Uh, okay, so if I want to like go over to the helmet, because the helmet's slightly better. So, yeah, go over to, say, the new helmet. It's the same. It's basically, well, okay, it's not quite as good, but like it's got more armour on it. And then tap X. Okay. X, or go over to this, or go over to. I just dismantled that. I feel like they may have been attempting to make me break stuff down. Luckily, I didn't care for that helmet anyway, because it doesn't look very good. But I know I that. I don't think so, because people have said X for this. Like, it rings a bell, and. Um, yeah, holding X breaks something a... down, tapping X does nothing. Oh, but it's a regular, and I don't think they would do that. Uh, tapping X does nothing. Holding X is definitely the breakdown. Hmm. Okay, but guys, it's not creepy puppets. It's like a cute puppet of a dog it's singing like a dog. happy birthday. Yeah, it's, it's just like a little hand puppet of like a cute dog. I'm being mean to my aunt. Yes, this is what British people do. Mm-hmm. Temple of Poseidon. We'll just pass. Oh, that's a wolf! Uh, 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 did you leave my horse alone. Right, get get off the horse. Get off. Get off the horse. Get get off. Get get get. <laughs> that's one way to get off the horse. No, my horse! All right. Well, we'll have to deal with that in a second. Uh, okay. That's excuse me. Oh, those. Are, oh, those are these are really high level wolves actually. Oh, I'm, I've accidentally gone into photo mode. <laughs> Here's me. Here's. Here's the one time I died. Here's here's me having an unfortunate moment, having a wardrobe malfunction while oh, wolves yeah. eat me. Oh yeah, I didn't even. Go that. go just just don't don't just climb 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 climb. Let the wolves eat somebody else. Ow! How did that? What did the wolf? How did the wolf do that? What? Maybe the wolf is an assassin from the future. How did the wolf just shoot me? Okay, okay, okay. Explanation. Yash gave us $5 and says, No, John, you equip the item, then you go back out and press X on your head slot. Okay, hang on. I, I, we're just reloading yeah, the game. No, then I'm we could be, that. repeat that in that. a second. I'm that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Martin gave us 100 Danish kroner. And says, John, you can change what the gear you have on looks like on the gear screen to anything you have found before, which several people have pointed out. Okay, hang before. on. Give me give me the step by step. All right. You equip the item. Okay. So equip equip the particular. Yep. So equip thing. Yep. Okay. Equip. Yeah. You yep. equip the item. Yep. Then go back out. Back out. And press X on your head slot. Ah. Okay. That I like. So yeah, we can be slightly better protected with this thing, and then uh, tap X, and then go over to. Yeah. Okay, that I like. Though I also like Naf Hat. No. Naf Hat is good. Naf Hat. Okay, now that I approve of, because I want to look nice, but I don't want to have to sacrifice like you know stuff for it. Uh, which this is also very important because it means I can now actually not be wearing just leather wrapped around my feet. I can wear fancy shoes. Oh, this is nice because I get to play dress up. Well, whilst you do that, shout out to Piotr who uh, 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 da, 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 
who says uh, that skins, like the unicorn skins, are randomly generated by rarity in the blacksmith, but you should run into the unicorn skin relatively often. Yeah. So just, I think, confirming what you were saying, Canada's bacon gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Good dollars. And as I forgot to mention in my previous super chat, but between recent events in Nova Scotia and coronavirus, MATN is a great escape from the awful news cycle here right now. Aw, well, thank you very, very much indeed. Yes. Now I have, I don't know what that is on the front, but I've got that on the front. Basically, I just go for the most ostentatious armor I can find. Which is great, because you're an assassin. That's all I do, um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Ben gave us five pounds and says, Thanks for streaming Assassin's Creed Odyssey again. I love the previous video. Love your videos in general. It makes this whole lockdown not so bad. Oh, excellent. Oh, it's like nice. That. I like how, yeah, well, sometimes when you put stuff on, like your other stuff just matches it. It just kind of comes, it just like everything else changes color. So the fun. color schemes kind of go together. Uh, but where's my, where's my lion? I like my lion. Uh, there it is. It's this one over here. Yeah, I like just wearing a lion on my shoulder. Like, this is... I, I just want to be, like, the basically, yeah, as recognisable as possible. I just want to be as recognisable as possible. And use, yeah, a bright blue jewel-encrusted bow. And a sword that is, in fact, like, uh, super fan. I just want it to be not rusty. All I want is for it to be not rusty. All my weapons are rusty. That looks like it's made out of wood. I'm having a sword made out of wood. Yeah, sword made out of wood. Sword made out of wood. Oh, this is so good. Okay, this was this was an excellent. This is this is excellent. Thank you to the people who flagged this. This is very good. I need the uh, fanciest uh, uh, gauntlets too. And uh, Tyler gave us five dollars and says there's a free black unicorn Pegasi skin in the store section of the menu. I mean, I looked for it, but I couldn't find anything other... I couldn't find anything there. I looked in Uplay. I, I couldn't see it previously. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think, I think I should stay on the road here. What yeah. I need to do is I need to make my way over to... Yeah, over to this. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm... I'm I want to go to the Sisyphus thing. But I need to not... Oh, there's, apparently there's, there's bandits over here. Look, I'm not... I'm, no trouble. No trouble. All I want is... I just want to go and raid this cave. All right? That's all I want. Just stay... Stay in the bushes. Stay out of the way of the wolves, because the wolves around here are way more hardcore than the wolves back home. <laughs> all right, no trouble, Mr. Deer. It's all okay. There we go. So uh, yeah, everybody in the chat's pointing oh, out that so that's not wood, John. It's bronze. You should have left. It's, it's a bronze sword. Um, it, 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 they're about. They're the same thing when you think about it. Uh huh. And a shout out to Daniel who gave us twenty dollars and says, "Hey, John and Claire, I cannot stay for long." But I wanted to pop in and say hi. I hope you're well. Thank you both for all the amazing content. I'm glad to see you're enjoying this game because I loved it. Historical inaccuracies and all. I just kind of, I also like just completely ignoring like the, the, the plot or whatever it is. I just kind of just going around doing my own thing and having a lovely time with that. Okay, so they said this cave was behind it. So whether that means like behind it up or not. Grave of Sisyphus. Okay. So oh, there's a lot of people saying uh, a bunch. Uh, there's a lot of people saying a bunch of different things about where that black unicorn Pegasus um, skin is. It quite possibly so, it, yeah. it used to be somewhere. It might well have moved. Uh, someone saying it's in the MTX store in the game. If you press right on the D-pad when you're in the menu. Oh blimey! We'll we'll look for this at some point. Mm -hmm. We will we will try and find this at some point or another. Uh, and Kevin gave us two uh, pounds and wanted to know if you don't you need to be level nine to reskin kit? It's level eight. Uh, we yes. went through this last time because we weren't level eight yet, but we did just make it at the end of last part. And uh, let's see. Evil John Clone six 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 in the chat uh, says weird question, but a lot of uh, YouTubers I've watched. Have said that the pandemic has hit their revenue quite bad, but some say it's actually up a bit. Uh, where is uh, MATN and the channel on this issue? Um, the ad rates are down, unquestionably. Like you make, uh, like we make significantly less, like per view or per ads, there's less advertisers, but the views are up because there's more people watching. So overall, it broadly kind of balances out, but that's kind of irrelevant in many ways. So, like we haven't been paying a huge amount of attention to to ad rates and and views and views well, for a long time because it like next to patreon and and like donations and whatnot like it just doesn't really matter anymore i mean views 
is a good indicator of whether people are liking what we're doing and whether we should go in a different... You know, if we yes. do something that no one wants to watch, that's obviously something that we need to keep in mind, but... Yeah. Um, it's not... Okay. It's nice to not have to churn stuff for views that we don't think is very good. You know, it's nice to be able to focus on just stuff that's good. Okay, here we go, here we go. We need to, we need to get into this cave, but the problem is we need to... Like, there's people who are going to see us and be really angry about it. Oh, that's funny. Somebody's saying um, this is weird to, to hear that from about the ad rates because I'm seeing a lot more ads right now. Hmm. Okay. Oh, he's Fresh. not listening because he's assassinating. I, I'm not assassinating. If I, if I get spotted by these guys, they just kill me. So I just need to figure out how to... There's nothing up. There's nothing up here. Uh, I might be able to... When that guy comes back and he leaves, I can just be in the the cave, whether he's going to come back or not. I just don't know whether I can get to this, because, uh, yeah, hide, hide in the... <laughs> Apparently, I, they can't see me! As you can see, I'm invisible. Uh, we've got a... Hang on, it's in the inventory when you get the... Uh, where you get the... Yeah, I think you go into this bag. Uh, this one over here. So, yeah, um, Statue of Sisyphus... Find me in a cave behind the statue. I am on a table with a sacrificed body. Now, that's fine, but the problem is, what it doesn't mention is there's also high-level people in this cave. Yeah. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get past them. So, this one might be a no-go. Where was your latest save point? Well, I'm just, it's fine. I can just leave. I can just walk out. Yeah, but I mean, if they kill you. Uh, it'll probably be just outside Corinth, because I just died to the wolves, and I just... And the game seems okay, to okay. constantly, uh, re like, auto-save in the background. So, yeah, right now my eyes haven't adjusted to the dark. He's, this is the guy who walks in now to the cave. So, uh, we can't do anything to him. He's hopefully going to walk past me without noticing me. Yes, he is. Uh, we can't assassinate him. He now walks straight back out again. Meaning now we are safe to move into the cave proper. The problem is I don't see any way to get around this guy. This guy's a problem. Uh, Can you climb? I mean, he'd see it. There's no way he's not going to see that. Jesus, I'm really surprised he's not seeing you right now. Well, because that, that's his back. Well, yeah, but, like, you're in the middle of the corridor. I mean, if I can make a distraction, maybe. I mean, I think I can see the body they're talking about. It's that body over there. But I don't see a way of getting... I don't see a way of making a distraction that's going to do anything. I mean... What's this face coming back as well? This is not going to fly. And look at the, how little the stealth attack does. That's not going to do a thing. I mean, in theory, just subtle, subtle, subtle. Wow. That got the attention of the, okay, we're just, we're just going to, we're just going to try and run, 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 It's fine. We're under control. Uh, okay, we're just gonna try and grab, grab the thing, grab the thing, grab the thing, grab the thing. Yeah, rock and roll! Now we escape, now we escape, now we escape, now we escape. Now we, no, 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 don't! Oh. <laughs> I could okay. use some help over here. Well, I think if you tried to, like, get in the back, <laughs> like, sneaky-like, you could probably What do you mean, do get it? in the back? There's one guy guarding the only entrance. What are you talking about? No, you got in the cave by waiting until the guy went out. Yeah. And then you, like, got... Then you climbed to the side and there was a little cave to go... What do you mean climb? little cave? What are you talking about? You... Claire, are you making up caves? No! I think you're inventing caves. No. There is no, there's no other cave. And no, there uh... was, like, a bit of a... Well... No, there wasn't. Stop inventing caves. <laughs> Well, I thought there was a little bit of rock that, like, you could hide behind. Well, yes, but how would I have got to it when it was... The only way to get to it was beyond the... No, the eyesight only way of... to hit was climbing. No, not a chance. Not not going to fly. We're going to go and prove Claire wrong. Proving Claire. Proving Claire wrong. Proving... Ow, I ran over a goat. Proving Claire wrong. All right. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Grave of Sisyphus. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna go and scan these individuals. Claire is actually right. Claire is right. Claire is making a lot of sense. Though someone does it, the cave is a lie. You've got to uncrouch, my dude. Claire is always right. 
How dare Claire just invent caves? Claire is right. Claire is not right. There's a lot of uh, mismatch in the chat. John could have climbed up to the left and gone around the guards. That's what I'm saying. There was a cave, Claire is correct. Ow, there ow, was a little ow, go around. Ow, 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 everything's fine. Everything's under control. We're just going to hide over here until that guy loses interest in me. Alright, yep, yeah, there we go. Now you don't know where I am. What's the little red bar at the bottom? Uh, that's my health. Oh, okay. Which is, the fact it's, it's little is a problem, yes. Yes, that's what I was thinking, but I was wondering why, given that we just come right out of a save. Yeah, but then he threw a javelin at me. Oh, fair enough. So I was trying to sneak, I was just trying to get around here the fast way. I mean, if we're lucky, he's now going to go into the cave, and that would be great. I do not want to do a stealth attack against him. Bad call. Bad call. We're just going to wait for him to go inside, ideally. Please go in the cave. Yep, go in the cave for a second. Go, 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 I go, said go, justice go. for Claire. There was a bit of a side tunnel, but it was past two dudes. John, you have no perception as much as we love you. Claire is right. Wait. John, maybe just abandon this goal for now. No. Do no. You know why? Because either he does manage it, and it's cool to have done it, or he gets to prove I was wrong, and both of those are good at Fuck, 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 run, 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 run. I mean, I see there's this bit over here. I see this bit over here. Yes, but that's beyond, that was beyond the eyesight of one guy anyway. Hi, hi, I'm just here to steal your stuff. Bye, bye now, bye, bye, so long, losers. Uh, right, now we, uh, fudge. Right, now we just run. Now we just run, and we, we remember to use the dodge mechanic. Uh, I, w I get a shift on. She she does occasionally run she's in a very. very good at running. She, she? runs. It. Yeah, yeah. She well, she's very slow in side areas. That oh, go to avoid the things. Go 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 go. go. Oh, <laughs> they're still trying. They're still running, chossing things at me. Horse, I need horse. Where are you? This is horse, horse. I'm going to get to get back to the road. I think we've I think we've got away with that. And we've just get so I was right. Yeah, no. Because yeah, there was, was right. no, because they spot. Oh shit! They're still coming. They're still very much coming. Did you get the thing? Or did you not get the thing? We could never come back here, Claire. We now can't come to Bowie. We can't go to Bowie. We couldn't come to Bowie with you already. You robbed the king. We can't go to Boeisha. We can't go to Corinth. This is another kingdom we can't go to anymore. Are they still coming? Oh dear, oh dear. What was my reward for that, by the way? It was the sweet sound of Claire was right. Yeah, but what did I actually get for that? Uh, anyway. <laughs> what did I actually get for that? I, uh... I don't know. Did, did, okay, chat, can anyone roll back and check what I actually did? Shout out to Adelon who gave us five pounds and says, John, go to Megaris already. There's good loot there. What's about, I just don't care about Megaris. I go, where the, I go where the wind blows me, man. I'm a lone wolf assassin, man. Another place we can never go to. Pretty like that much. one time in The Simpsons where they tried to go to the final state that they've not been banned out of. Yes. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh dear. Right. Claire was right. Just John failed a stealth check. What? No. It was blatantly was not a way to. T you, he was past the. Uh oh. That's that's. The, oh no. That's that's a fine guy. He's he's not a problem. Which which way down the road am I supposed to be going well, right now? The second time you were like in a hurry, you didn't try to do a distraction or anything. There's a there's this there's dose that can, can, there was nowhere to hide from them after I distracted them. Look, you were wrong, basically. You were just I was wrong. Not wrong. You were wrong. The chat does not think I was wrong. Mm -hmm. It was a new engraving. Okay. Ah, so I've unlocked an engraving that I can engrave. Thank you, chat. Hope it's a lone wolf like me. Uh, let's see. Dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to uh, Brad, who gave us uh, $9.99 uh, dollars yeah. and says, Hey, John, always check the blacksmith shop. That's where the unicorn is, as well as other cool pieces of equipment. One is a wrestling towel that increases damage when covered in black oil. <laughs> That's ridiculous, oh, but I kind of like it. Uh, he got... um. Wait a minute. Uh, also, you got an upgrade that you can put on your gear at the blacksmith? Uh, yeah, that's the engraving. That's what yeah. engraving is, yeah. Uh... Oh, hi, sorry. This is your temple. I'll go. 
My mistake. It's cool. And shout out also to Sebastian, who gave us 50 Danish kroner and says, Mind flop, if the universe truly is infinite, if the universe truly is infinite, every movie ever made is actually being played out somewhere, same with games, books, etc. That's... They also add, I are hungry. It's, 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 it's a good thing to add, that's fair. Yes, indeed. Oh dear, oh dear. Our snack today, do you want a biscuit? I'm okay for the minute. I had a couple of biscuits before we... Biscuit. You mean steal the biscuits. I got, I got chocolate uh, chocolate hobnobs. I like hobnobs. I like chocolate. I think chocolate hobnobs are very good. Chocolate and hobnobs cho are very chocolate good. Chocolate hobnobs are excellent. Mm. Okay, so we're entering a restricted area right yeah. now. But yeah. these guys like level 8. So we can just like stab them if need be. This is this is my plan. This is my plan, to be honest, A. Uh, oh, 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 a little bit too spotted right now. Just ah, but you, sir, you are the captain, despite the fact you are level eight, which is going to be a problem for you, good sir. And stab, stab, stab. There we go. I just got some dark steel gauntlets at level nine, and I got a new engraving for that. Five percent adrenaline. And there's some good? stuff and a skeleton. If one loves a skelly boy. Uh, and then we just go round over here. We just put... Actually, we don't bother stabbing you in the back. Because, honestly, there's kind of no point. Because, uh, yes, one of the guys is coming in this direction. But if you're going to wander away from uh, this lad, then that means I'm just going to stab him in the back. Because I can. Because, yeah, I've spec for assassination. So if I can just sneak up on people, they do just sort of die. Which I approve of. I enjoy an Assassin's Creed. And call me Captain Banana's face. I enjoy an Assassin's Creed doing assassinating. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is a thing I very much approve of. Uh, so you, my good man, can just be assassinated. I don't think you're going to hear that. Nope, because assassinating is like super silent and quiet. And then we're just going to assassinate you as well. There we go. No. It's, sometimes it's kind of unclear how they died. Because sometimes they just sort of you just kind of vaguely flail in their direction and then they just burst. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's very unclear. I'll be having a weapon or something. That's free stuff. I'll be having this as well. Hello! you! C c congratulations! You're free! That guy I was too late for. Uh, I've killed all of them, by the way, so you're actually going to be able to escape. Because whenever you free people, they just sort of idiotically run straight into the enemy camp. Oh, uh, you know, right past the people who were just... Ooh! That's... Oh, I thought that was going to be free. There should be free arrows! I need arrows! And there's arrows right there. Maybe that did top up my arrows. Because it appeared to be full of arrows. But it didn't say. It just said I got wood. Okay. So that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Uh, does anyone know what town this is? This might be Megara. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's, it's a town. Yeah, Megara. I found Megara. Found it. You see, this is why Megara did very badly in the actual original Peloponnesian War. It's because they were level 8 to 9, whereas Athens, all their soldiers, were level 15 to 19. And the Spartans, of course, were level uh, 32 to 36. Which is why uh, Sparta won the ground war in the original Peloponnesian War. Because they were much higher level than mm -hmm. the Athenians were. So they could equip higher level gear. Yeah, yeah. This is history. Mm -hmm. It's about as realistic as anything in Herodotus. Oh, Herod! Herod a burn! <laughs> It's a lot of bird people. Oh, God. Okay, a <laughs> shout out to Mark who gave us five euros and says, While I normally worship grey-eyed Athena, I also recognise the importance of paying tribute to the green-eyed goddess Tabitha. Oh. All hail her majesty. She good cat. She good girl. She's a very good cat and we love her. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mojo, uh, Mojo Ish gave us two pounds and says, Must not upset Nightbot! Um, and point out the objective. Uh, and Brian gave us two euros and wants to know, John, do you think Odyssey is worth the 60 euro price tag? <sighs> okay, that's a difficult one to answer. I know, right? Because, like, one, there's clearly a ludicrous amount of content. Like, I've been playing this for, like, ten hours and, like, what have I done? I've, like, I visited the, the areas that are in colour... I visited. Right. The, this, Very this, little. and like, then there's all of Greece, and then there's all of Macedonia, and there's all of Africa, and then there's all these cocking islands, and there's DLC campaigns. Sure. So technically, you're getting a lot of hours of playtime for your money. But you play games very often go on sale. 
Like, they go, they go to, they go, they go on sale on a pretty regular basis. So as a result of that, probably you could, you could wait for it to be on sale. Like, honestly, I think this probably is worth a full price release. Absolutely. But, like, I think you wouldn't, you don't have to. I feel like I shouldn't try and kill the captain of Megara. But then again... John? Th do you want to be allowed to go back to Megara in future? No, no one wants to go to Megara in future. That's why history forgot about it. Uh, Captain. Captain of the Guard. Captain of the Guard. I mean, I kind of want to just rob... I mean, I could rob the Temple of Megara. And nobody will know. Yeah, look at that. He's purple. He's got loot, Claire. He's got loot. Ooh. Yeah, and Notilia says, uh, I've put about 70 hours into this game with no DLC. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It's huge. Mm. Uh, so this that, that does not surprise me in the slightest. Uh, there's more over there somewhere, but it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to... We're going to go in and we're going to try and... I mean, there's like three different treasures. Oh, hang on, those treasures are over there. Okay, there's like no treasure whatsoever. There's one treasure inside this temple. But there's a captain of the guard here. This captain of the guard needs to be assassinated. I'm going to go assassinate him. Banana! 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 There's absolutely no reason for me to be climbing on these things. Bum, 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 bum! Banana! Okay. It's highly important that, so I, that I do the Mission Impossible. <laughs> Have you ever seen Mission Impossible? No. It's actually a very good movie. I know no. you wouldn't think so because it's a silly 90s action thing with Tom Cruise. But it's actually very good. And they actually stayed good. Like the most recent one, Fall uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, is actually quite good. Uh-huh. Uh, you, you wouldn't think so because like, you know, Tom Cruise is a bit of like a joke these days. But like when he's on form, he's actually, you know, he does he does really good action shit. Yeah. He like, you know, he, do, he normally does his own stunts and stuff. He's actually very good at it. So, you know, we're going to... I think he's wandering off on his own. Oh, oh, he's wandering off on his own. He's wandering off on his own. This is this is the time. This is the time. All right, we just get into the bush, get into the bush, get into the bush. Oh, yeah, he's wandering off. He's wandering off. He's wandering off on his own. Hey, 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 mate, 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 And stab! Stealth kill! Get myself some level 10 Athenian bracers. Now we're going to very quickly put him in a bush. I just put him over. Didn't put him in a bush. Uh, okay, this is fine. And now, hang on, show the details of what I'm supposed to be doing. There's one treasure in the temple. Uh-oh, uh-oh, fuck, fudge, 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 run, 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 down, 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 we need to run. We need to start running at this point. I want to say we need to start running. Technically, we're absolutely fine to, uh, we're absolutely fine to, oh, bloody hell. We're absolutely fine to not run. They don't know where I am. In fact, if anything, they've abandoned the temple to try and find me. Because the last time they saw me, I was over there. Now he's running over there too. All right, go, go, go. go. Yeah. That's I tapped A. That means up. Dun 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 Right, and now we just leave. Militarized Temple of Megara complete. Screw you, Megara! Their final humiliation after Aristophanes and Dikaiapolis as Akarnians is completed. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Oh, I found that a tomb! Was such a burn. Yes, exactly. I found a tomb. Good. That doesn't. This doesn't. Whose tomb is it, John? I don't know. Some guy. But now it's gonna be. But it's gonna be my shit now. I mean, he's dead, isn't he? So you know, it's not like he needs it. Would you guys like to turn around for a second? Please turn around. I feel like this is going to make me really unpopular just before I need to do some work with the Megarons. So I'm, I've decided I'm not going to do that. That's what I've decided. I'm going to be. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good like that. Welcome to Megara. We know basically nothing about this place culturally. Aside from what Dick Athenian said when they were making really, really rude and horrifying war jokes about them. Yes, indeed. And shout out also to uh, Nate, who gave us $10 and says, Hey, John and Kaya, I'm a US Marine stationed in Egypt. Long time viewer, but my first time catching a stream. Thank you for getting us through this dark mode time. <laughs> Yes, indeed. It um, is indeed, yes. Mm. Excellent. I approve of that, aside from not approving of dark mode. 
Uh, and Hannah uh, gave us a 50 Swedish krona and says, this is the best way to spend my birthday Aww. and also recover from pulling my wisdom teeth out today. Love you both and also Tabby. Oh, well, I, I, I hope you're feeling okay and you've got plenty of ice cream if that's a thing that you're yeah, allowed to have. Yeah, because it's doubly allowed for the teeth and for your birthday. Yeah, one hundred percent. Ah, Temple of Apollo, I can synchronize. I can't remember what's, what's oh yeah, synchronizing is fast travel points in this game. It, it used to be map locations, but now it's fast travel points. Uh, so yeah, you just hop into a high spot and you sync. And that means, yeah, it used to be, hey, this will put a bunch of stuff on your maps, do. Now it doesn't anymore. Now it just provides a fast travel location. But you've still got the animation as if it... Because, like, you'd think from that animation, this is going to show me stuff on my map, because now I know where stuff is. But you don't. <laughs> it's it's just fast travel. Uh, but it, it, it feels it's like... It's pretty. The, yeah. Is there a thing to jump down to? Jump! Whee! There we go. Jump down. And you actually upgrade your bird a little bit, too. Can I assassinate that dog? No, I can't jump assassinate no. a dog. Not that I'd want to, I was just curious. Mm -hmm. Can I set myself on fire? Voila. Yes, yes I can. I get it out. But I can put myself out very easily. Very easy to gain myself on uh get myself on fire. Uh okay, yes, there's a fat there's some form of little mini quest over here that I'm gonna do. Because I feel like family ordeal sounds like a fun quest. So we're gonna do a little quest called a family ordeal. Claire, while I make my way over there. Uh, yeah, shout out to Jason who gave us two Australian dollars and says, time check, it is 5.51 a.m. in Melbourne. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, well done for still being here. Also, I can't help but notice that um, the one time Claire doesn't actually, like, in any way complain about the fact I'm going on not like a speaker is when I'm doing history lectures. Yes, because those are interesting. Clearly, I need to do more of these. Uh-huh. Uh, but I was doing a deep sigh just now because oh, you said, Claire, up to you, and then you stopped me after one. Oh, okay. Carry on then, Thank I suppose. You. Uh, shout out to Jacob, who gave us 50 Danish krona and wants to know, John, do you prefer Mission Impossible Fallout, Mission Impossible Fallout 2, Mission Don't Impossible Fallout that. New Vegas, or Mission <laughs> Impossible Fallout 76? Also love your videos! Oh, uh, Mission Impossible Fallout New Vegas, obviously. I mean, is it I good? I, I think it's good. I think it's pretty good, yes. That wolf is just eating a guy over there and no one gives a shit. Oh, yeah, this one's for you, by the way. Uh, Hosdain, uh, Angelane, Lacedemanios, uh, Hoti, uh, Tede, uh, Kemetha, Tois, Kanon, uh, Remasi, uh, Pethomenoi. Oh, bloody hell. Um, uh, Lacedemanios is, but fuck, it's gone. Uh, uh, wait, wait, I need to go, need to go back up. Uh, sorry, do you want to see it on my screen? No, nah, I, can, I can go, I can go over to whichever one it is. There we go, now I can yeah, just okay. have it there. Uh, Zdane, I believe that's the verb to, there's a lot of screaming about wolves going on, hopefully I don't get eaten by a wolf. Uh, Angelane is a noun, uh, Lactomaniois is dative plural form of Spartans, Hoti, when, or some variant thereupon, Twiskenoin, Chremasi, Chremasi, and, uh, Pethomene, is that thinking? Uh... Christ, I'm out of practice. It's been a long time since I've had to translate. I think it's Herodotus. I assume Herodotus. So possibly a few synthesis uh, on the fly. Help, help, help me out here. I, I can't. Uh, John is also out of practice at reading super chats. So that was from Simonides, who gave us ten dollars. $10, yes. And says, love the channel and love this game. Sadly, I'm in lower six, so I should do my Herodotus essay or Tacitus translation. Oh, Herodotus essay. I'm mm. sorry, Tacitus is boring as shit. <laughs> I am classist, I'm allowed to say that. Herodotus is fun! Herodotus is the best. Herodotus is great fun. Uh, I'm getting, you're going to need to help me out yeah. With no context clues whatsoever and be, be completely ambushed by Greek. I can't just randomly translate Greek, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I've, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that guy's dead, by the way. Oh, so I was going over to this blacksmith. Oh dear. I I'll kick myself when I hear a translation as well, because I'm almost. Cause I, I've studied Herodotus, so I should be able to. I should be able to recognise it. Uh, bum, 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 bum. We will translate your very useful right now. Excellent. It translated. Yes. Give me the garbled. Excellent. It's good English. The exact same script that I can't read. Yeah. It's just, it, it, the, the, the alphabet's quite easy in Greek. It's only 24. Right, it's it's I, a 24 based system. I know that, but... So we've got two less letters that. that we've got to deal with in English. And English, of course, has stupid redundant letters that we don't need. Yes. 
Let's see. This is, I assume those do give me free arrows if I go up to them then, which is very useful. That's very good to know. Uh, yeah, I picked up some new stuff here. Like, I picked up a new shawl. So that is Assassin 4. That's Assassin 5, but not quite as good. That's... Oh, that's Assassin 4 and 35. So we'll be having that. And actually, I quite like the hood. So we'll keep that. I think we'll actually keep... Actually, no, I think I prefer the old style. So we'll go over to that hood. But I might just go over to the old hood style. Yeah, I prefer the old hood style. Uh, which is fine. And we've got some new equipment we can wear. But actually, that is tied to... Uh, a high level, so we need to level up before we can use any of that. That's all apps, yeah, okay? That child is freaking the flip out. Uh, and I was supposed to be going to... Yes, over here. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, shout out to Jeans and Cowboy Boots, who gave us five pounds and says, John speaking Greek, swoon! I'm very good to tell, have you know. I, uh -huh. I, I've won I've won awards. I think they know. Uh, and also shout out to Jason who gave us two Australian dollars and says Mission Impossible Fallout New Vegas is good. It is, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to Mr. Maple Syrup who gave us ten pounds and says honestly this is like a thousand times better than watching engineering lectures. Thank you guys so so much. Also, does John have any plans for useless Steve runs other of other New Vegas DLC or Fallouts? Uh, not imminently, but yes, quite possibly at some point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a pig farm here. Not the pig farm we were originally looking for. Right, so, you guys, what have you guys got to do? Because I apparently want to help you out somehow. Cassandra, I haven't seen you since you took me to the ruins of Odysseus. Oh, it's my girlfriend who I struck out with. How could I forget? You told me to live my own life. And care less about someone else's greatness. Looks like you're taking my advice. <sighs> I've been forced to take care of my sick father. So, no. I've had no chance to live the life I desire. Okay, but we can go back to flirting while she's talking about her sick father. I forgot how beautiful you were. And also, it's really sad your dad's dying. But you're so hot. Do you want uh, Lady Bone? I've seen a lot of people. Are you actually sure. doing that? Yes. Jesus. Yes, I am. Is that so? You're a welcome distraction from my problems. Yeah, she's into it. Sweet. Maybe Jeez. we could talk some more. I'll distract you for hours. Whee! I've been told I'm great at being a distraction. I'm sure you have a bed inside we could use. <laughs> you get straight to the point, don't you? I'll show you how to the point I can get. I'm sure you will. So how about it? You know, I'd love to, but I have a couple of things I need to pick up for my father first. If you helped me, then we could maybe continue our conversation. Okay, so we just need to do get them yourself. <laughs> get get them yourself. I'll wait here. I'll warm up the bed. No, I will go and get these things for you. All right, we are gonna we are gonna get lucky with with the desk over here. All right, I will do this for you. What do you need? Don't worry, I'm uh, here to okay. help. What do you need? A few herbs from the valley of King Lelech nearby. Also need a mixture from the market to combine with the herbs. There's a merchant there holding on to it for me. Is your father really so sick you can't get him yourself? I'm his only child. I'd rather be close by in case he gets worse. All right, so fair enough. I'll get going and make it happen. Stay by your father. I'll be back. Though, just in theory, if she didn't have a father anymore, then she wouldn't actually need the herbs and we could get straight down to lady boning. I think if her father dies, she won't want to ladybone. You say this, but like, you know, lots of I people... I think if you kill her father in front of her, she won't want to ladybone Lots of you. people hook up at funerals, you know. It's it's a well-known phenomenon. Not with their father's murderer, they don't. <sighs> Fine. Anyway. Wait, what? Uh-oh, wait, what? Claire? Claire, I've upset a chicken. <laughs> Claire, I've upset this a chicken. I'm upset a chicken! This is Skyrim all over again! Have I upset ch ch I'm so sorry! Was that your chicken? Was- Uh oh. No. No. Let's not murder each other. We're gonna be- My lesbian friend just got- She's- I think she was hunting for the chicken. We good? Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. I accidentally upset a chicken by shooting an apple. Everything is everything is precisely fine now. Everything is everything is is as it should be. Dear oh flipping dear. And 
down we go. Right. Okay. Now I'm back to where I should be. Okay. Where's Where's that stuff I need to collect? Yeah. Cause... And shout out to Adelon who gave us two pounds and says, "Prepare the hedgehogs." I don't know how explicit this game is. We've got the hedgehogs ready. The hedgehogs. Okay. How fast I get to? I can get to the hedgehogs in a matter of seconds. All right. It's possible. We might. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have. We'll be very careful when we get back. Uh, quests. I want to make that quest. Nice and simple, right? Uh, set that as active. I'm going to get a new skirt, XP, and uh, yeah, and, and I also get laid. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, Simonides came back and said the username was the context, John. It's Simonides' epitaph. Mm -hmm. Oh, stranger, tell the Spartans that here, that here we lie according to their laws, which is literal, uh, literal translation, so I'm sorry, it's not very nice. Sorry, I, I I am out of practice. Mm -hmm. Do we? It's it's you know it's when you've not done translating for a while, it's very hard to just switch your brain no, back onto it. No, they were apologising for not having done a, a like a nicer, more literary translation of it. Yes. Uh, but yes, indeed, that's what it meant. Okay, so medicinal herbs are in Megaris in the Valley of King Lelix. They are south of the blacksmith. Ah, there's no smut. It just fades to black. Oh, boo. Uh, okay, so they are south of the blacksmith. I think we yeah we're blacksmith. Close by to the Persian trireme, which one would logically assume would be on a beach. So one would logically assume we're going to be about here. Because the Persian trireme, unless they've dragged it on land to like show it off in the aftermath of the Persian War, which is possible, will be somewhere over here. So instead, let's go to the... We'll go over here, and then from there, we'll just use the... We'll just use the bird to uh, to track it down. So that would that would work. So we'll just go in. If I, you know, we'd probably use the bird right here. To be perfectly honest, but we'll just go in the right direction, and then we'll use the bird to figure it out. I kind of wish, yeah, the uh, the game didn't have that prompt. You are close to your target. Like, I I like the fact that it gives you clues you have to figure it out. But then when you get closer, it gets a little bit too more. It gets a little bit too more. Like it gets a bit more too hand holding. Oh, bloody hell! Uh, okay, hang on. I'm solving mystery. Where There's the, the trivery, and I know where the herbs are. Yeah, I kind of wish it, there was a bit more exploration going on. Uh, You're gonna need to stick it because it's gonna move. I will, I will, I will grab it in a second. Well, if you wait too long, it'll go away. I am aware of how super chats work. You're not acting like it. Boring. Right, grab herb. Oh, no. And grab additional herb. Grab more. Is that all the herb I need? I think that's all. Yeah. Uh, two out of three. Oh, I swear there was. Yeah, there it is. It's right there. There's one. There was a third one. Right there. And there's also there was a loot prompt here. Was that this over here? Yeah, that was just some stone. That's absolutely fine. Uh, so shout out to Air Terranian who gave us five pounds and says from a Greek poem or song. Uh, te uh, peratiko to Captain Jimmy, uh, pumautu ta pugate kai ses enai uh, photo meno. Me uh kas kazist kaziski uh eki ta uh fanaria to ste uh pume sorry prume uh prume is a see auto forgot flee flee yourself and you to be Eke echo to have a fanalia to stand prume. This kind of feels like slightly garbled pigeon Greek. I feel like something. I mean, if it includes the word Captain Jimmy, maybe it's not like a real thing. I feel like this is this this is a slightly garbled thing that's been put for a Google Translate of some description. Aside from the Captain Jimmy, which is a good hint. This feels strange. The, the, the word order feels really strange. Like, Kaisais is a really weird construction. Uh, like, you wouldn't normally have a connective followed just by a... Uh, by Sais. Uh, that's kind of a weird construction. Right there. And Eke, just like, in the middle like it is, is... I feel like this is slight, slightly odd pigeon Greek that's just from a translator. I'm not sure it's, it's actually translatable. It, 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 I'm not sure it's actually translatable. Also, where's the button for me to pet my eagle? Because I heard there was an e a button to pet my eagle, but now I don't know what it is. I'm going to tap Y. Oh, I pet my eagle! I pet the eagle! 
Or I gave him a scratch on the neck. He liked it like Tabby does. Oh, here's a, a nicer translation from Simonides uh, from um, uh, that first bit of uh, Greek that we've got. Go beats. tell the Spartan stranger passing by that here, obedient to their laws, we lie. Excellent. Very poetic. I prefer literal translation, to be honest. Also, uh, you may have okay. noticed... Sorry, you may have just noticed uh, that... No, no. I admit mean, this was a history fact I was about to share, okay, actually. Okay, but I'm, like, telling you that the thing that you just called garbled is just actually modern Greek, not ancient Greek. Ah, that would explain my slight confusion. It's the song Armada by Nikos Kevadius, uh, an actual Greek poet, modern. So there you go. I do not speak modern Greek. They use the same alphabet and certain, like, things are still vaguely recognisable. But it makes sense. I looked at that and I thought, wait, what the hell is going on here? Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, someone just Google translated it, which, like, if it's poetry, it is not going to work really well. But, uh, yes. Captain Jimmy's pirate, with which you will also leave his Tell your friends. With, Tell your uh, family. The best wears Drachmika. Oh, that's a sentence. Ah, of course. It, it, it's headlights on the stern. I'll take the payment and you can <laughs> so do anyway. your way. Mm-hmm. And I just said you paid extra. I will pay. Here, All right. take it. Here you go. Quick Here's the money for the medicine. I hope this helps Odessa. Mm. So, money's quest item. Now back for the sexings. Whee! Yeah, also, folks, please uh, don't actually put anything uh, in super chats that, you know, um, we can't read. Mm -hmm. So, like... Yes, that's a good some point. some Danish, I think. Yes. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That's a good point. We probably shouldn't really ever read things now that I'm up and translated because we don't know what it actually means, meaning it could be not good. Uh, yes, yeah, also that. Yes. Um... So we might have that. to be we might have to be a and, little bit and then careful also, of that. You you might you might just straight up just say that modern Greek is gargled ancient Greek, which is not a good look either for you to say, but whatever. Um, Why don't you have a cock? It's a hum, but there's no penis on it. It really bugs John. me. It's not like the No, this is real history. These things are supposed then to say it historically instead of yelling about cocks, I have to be in chat! I'm gonna give him a cock. I don't think that's how you give Schmuck cocks. He now has... A, I've made him historically accurate. <laughs> made him historically accurate, historically accurate. Um, they're supposed to have a face and a cock. And it's not like this game is shy about cocks because all the massive statues have giant cocks that you can actually climb on and dangle off. But, like, for some reason, these statues, the one where historically it's really important they have a cock, doesn't have a cock. So I've given him one. Yes. Anyway, shout out to Matt who gave us ten dollars and says five years of MATN since I found the New Vegas No Kill Run series and the first time in a live stream working from home and you all are keeping me sane. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the years of entertainment. What the? Th okay, we've just been randomly ambushed. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted all of a sudden. So I've just been ambushed. And what the? the screw you. <laughs> This is, he's really fast. He's really annoyingly fast, actually. Uh, this is, this is a bit of a problem, and... That's... Oh, I don't know why the, the parry did not seem to work on that guy. Okay. Luckily, it auto-saves, like, all the time. It seems to auto-save, like, all the time. Uh, which is fine. I don't know why, I was trying to parry. But for some reason, it just wasn't, it didn't seem to register. I was not expecting a fight there. I was expecting a random fight. Uh, okay, that was unusual. Right, uh, we should probably... There's probably an autosave literally just before we get in at that point. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Back in we go. Back in we go. And now we prepare, because apparently there's going to be, like, angry people for some reason. And when they show up, we're gonna shoot all of them with my special ability. Okay, where are they now? Now, oh, now they're over there. They've just spawned from a different location. Okay, well, screw. And then, oh, excuse me. Not not my girlfriend, actually. There we go. And we're just going to go for you. Hopefully she can handle at least some of these by themselves. And one of you is... It, what is going on with the parry? It's, it, why is it not working? Let me bring you I don't know why the parry is not doing anything. Ah. 
Oh, there we go. Maybe I was doing it too late. I don't know, but the parry did not seem to be doing its job there. Odessa, are you alright? Yes, I think Odessa's fine. Okay, for some reason people were trying to kill you. Is your dad fine, by the way? If they were going after him, they could have just stabbed him. It would have been much easier. Right, okay. So now we go back to... Hello, Odessa. How are you? I'm going to loot this guy first. the leader of Megaris. Seems like Odessa has been causing some problems for them. And they're also after her father's estate. Ah, the king of Megara. Okay, assassin. No, you should. Assassin. Sorry, I didn't mean to push you over there. She's still going to have blood on her shoulder. No, it's cleaned off. You did get them, didn't you? Yeah, and shout out to... That's what you're worried about? We were just attacked. Surely you should be used to that by now. Random bandits litter these lands. What did that letter you were reading say? And yes, indeed. Uh, the mayor's after you, actually. That they were after you and only you. Not me. I can't believe it. Looks like it deals with your father's estate. They probably want you and him both gone so they can take it. I could have died without making a name for myself. I'd never be worth anything at all. And yes, indeed. I'll keep you safe. Here we go. Here we go. I won't let anyone hurt that face. No pain, no glory. And, oh, show me what you mean. Oh, I think we're going into, oof, blimey, okay. How about you take me inside and show me a little pain? Ooh. Oh, how I would love to do so. But this news, someone aims to kill me. How could we possibly ignore such a thing for pleasure? Then where does that leave us? With a task at hand, clearly. Think what you must, but I can prove the truth to you. I just need your help. I'm not surprised. I'll let you know if you can have it. Okay, if I murder the King of Megara, can we have lesbian sex? Is that going to be a thing that we could do at that point? Because I suspect it is. Okay, just, just tell me to do it. Tell me to do it and I will go and do it. Are you ready to find the whole truth of what's going on? Always. I knew you would. You already believe they're after me, and you're right. I want to have proof in my hand saying why. The truth always comes out. It will. And then I can finally follow in the footsteps of Odysseus. And yes, indeed, Odysseus... Oh, Odysseus was a great lover, too. I'm... Eyes on the prize, Cassandra. Eyes on the prize. Don't the stories it's of Odysseus random, mention how it? great of a lover he was? Do they? I must have missed those. And maybe we could try. We should read together. We should make a story of our own. You said you wanted to be like Odysseus. We could do better than that. We will talk more about us once this is all done. First, the note you found was so from the leader of Megaris. There has to be proof of what he's up to. I will break into his palace it and steal is. it. It would be at his home. Yes. Go there. I will do it. I will do that. That's fine. I'll also kill him. Do you want him dead? I'll find the proof you need. Good. I want this whole thing to be over. And yes, indeed. Yeah, what am I looking for? Do you have any idea what I'm looking for? The leader is the most powerful man in Megaris. I can't accuse him of anything unless I have proof that he's after me. Okay, but once you've got it, what are you going to do? He's the king. Let's say I do find the truth you're looking for. What next? Then I'd tell everyone who would listen. The leader wouldn't dare kill me or my father once everyone knows their plans. Well, that's optimistic, I'll but fine. I will go and take care of this. Right, so, next up we're going for... Yeah, track that quest, please. We'll make that active. I assume we're going on a bit of a uh, investigation at that palace around the corner. So, okay, that should be nice and I simple. Just sneak in, grab out it, get on. out. Claire, good chance for you while head over there. Yeah, uh, shout out to Jack who gave us five dollars uh, and says our moronic governor is opening up the state because supposedly quarantine is government overreach, so I'm glad you're here to make me feel better. Uh, and also, Jack, uh, later when you were doing the history lesson, sent us two dollars and says, Professor, should I be taking notes? Absolutely. This will all be on the test. Yes, indeed. And uh, just as a kind of like a housekeeping <laughs> note, mm -hmm. um, if you, you, you all know the Super Chats will all get read, but it will take a while. If you need to leave, please just message me in the chat maybe five ten minutes before you need to leave so i have time mm -hmm. uh because sometimes the game will insist on having a plot 
Yes. And that makes it very difficult to read Super Chat. Damn, Gabe. Just so I know, how far behind are you right now? So I know how much time to give you. I mean, quite a bit. Okay, well, this is it. Like, sneaky but missions where you, you sneak don't in. you need to give me a lot of time at the end of the thing, you need to consistently let me read more than one at a time. Well, we should be good now, because I'm going to sneak in, scout the area, then just do a bit of sneaky grabbing. So this should be nice and I mean, simple. I mean, I super don't trust you, but let's well, go Well, you anyway. go and try it, all right? Anyway, We're just scout Matt's it out and figure it out. Anyway, earlier, Matt said, uh, five years of MTN since I found a new Vegas No Kill Run series and first time in a live stream. Uh, you're all keeping me sen You're keeping me sane while I'm working from home. Thanks for the years of entertainment. Well, you're very welcome, and I hope we can, you know, help out in whatever little way we can. Yes, and I read that one again because you were totally not paying attention the first time. I was distracted. Yes, I know. Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to Travis who gave us $5 and says, Loving the Crusader Kings 2 series. I much need a dose of comedy during these times. Are we going to see any more Three Kingdoms? Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Uh, from what I've seen in Three Kingdoms so far, like it's more appropriate as like a, like you know, little mini series when a new thing comes out uh potential it's not to say like you know I'd, I'd rule it out absolutely i would not uh but uh yeah i mean like when they do like whatever the like the full update that's a very nice stream when they do like a proper full update for like battle of the red cliffs where they look at like naval stuff that might be worth considering so that's uh certainly might be an, a time to give it a look say yeah indeed and nathaniel gave us five dollars and says help my apartment is being invaded by mold they keep shouting, this is Sparta! Spore. Mold. Oh, mold. I think it's said moles. That's, that's... Oh, come on! That's why I was... Moles doesn't invade apartments! Well, that's what... Well, I thought I was... Well, mold doesn't really invade. It's a bit harsh to mold. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. That's a cat over there. We don't need to kill that cat. That's fine. Oh, shout out to James who uh, <clears throat> shout out to James who gave us a hundred uh, Philippine pesos uh, and wants to know how do Greeks feel about losing Constantinople in Crusader Kings two? Uh, is is that, is that a joke? Are you leading into a punchline here? No, that's that's it. It says how do Greeks feel about losing Constantinople? Hashtag Crusader Kings two. I I I don't know. They're probably mm. not thrilled about it. Historically, it was a, it was a bad time, uh, so probably bad. <clears throat> anyway, shout out to Jeff who gave us five dollars and says, "John, uh, I just want to thank you for being a decidedly non-toxic YouTuber, and please keep playing this game. It is thoroughly enjoyable." I'm I'm having a nice time yeah. with it so far, so I think that's eminently uh, doable right there. Right, uh, oh my god, they all heard moles. I'm sorry! Ha! It's not just me! Not just me! You said moles. You didn't say moles. And you're coming this way, so there's, there's a friend. He's got a friend coming in this direction, so we don't want to... I wish there was a double assassinate. But sadly, there is not a double assassinate. I can just assassinate one or the other. Which is very sad. Yeah, I need to get over to the, the house over there. Looks like there's a... Uh, Looks like there's a like a, a vine or like a, a rope I can cross here that gets me in the right direction. So I assume I can cross here without anybody realizing what's up. Then I can get straight to the upstairs, which is really useful. So I just want to get like if you're like right at the top, that's that's probably a good starting point. There doesn't seem to be anyone here yet. Oh, but he's uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh he's coming. Now he's coming. Uh, now he's on his way back. Uh, which is, oops, sorry. Now no he's worries. on his way back, which is a concern. Uh, I can, I can loot, but I need to set that on fire. Technically, is what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, okay, this is, this is a problem. Go, go up. It's not even remotely what I want you to do. I want you to climb, 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 climb up faster, because he's, he's coming. They can see through this, can't they? How much do you think they can see through this blatantly see-throughable roof? Because I'm concerned it's it's they can. Oh. Well, maybe they can't if you're on the side yeah. that has the moth bit. I'm just going to get over here because this is uh, strikes me as a better place to be. Yeah, it's Plus, a roof in it. yeah, that gets me a riddle. Usual request came to eliminate some records. Didn't want any trouble, so I took a small journal west to Mount uh, Guranea. Uh, take a dive in the center of the bay, find them in the shelf, and I can run and find them. Nice and easy to find if I choose to go and bother finding them. Lovely. Claire. 
Yeah, and shout out to John who uh, gave us $20 and says, I'm working right this moment at an essential job, taking a quick half hour lunch, spending it watching my favorite content creators. P.S. Claire, you are the reason my wife got into uh, creating content, I'm assuming. Um, all content creators, I'm not quite sure. I think there's a typo. Mm -hmm. And congrats on the Hugo nomination. Thank you so, so much. Oh, that was a very nice Claire That's message. So sweet. Uh, and um, there are, there are. I'm afraid to say other Hugo-related comments. Would you like me to read them now? So oh, you don't have to get them out them. of the way, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Daglin. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, who gave us ten pounds and says hi, Donna and Claire. It's my first time catching a live stream and donating. So thank you for many great videos and congrats, congrats to Claire on the Hugo nomination. And then there is some. Greek. I'm assuming it's Greek. Maybe it's Latin. I feel like it's definitely Latin because it's not written in Greek script. I feel like I, this is this is by the way has gone slightly wrong. So we might need to just like get out of here, wait for the heat to calm, cool down a bit, then try again. Anyway, Clap. it says uh, the Latin. It says, uh, um, is it, are there soft seas in Latin or is it hard seas always? Uh, it depends on when and where and whose. Oh sure. Uh, yes, is the short is the shortest, easiest answer. If it's sea, I'll need to be careful. This place is heavily guarded. Or does it just depend? Sorry. Never mind. Uh, it says something yeah, approximating Ceterum autem senseo Carthaginem esse Delanda, which I recognise vaguely as like you know Delanda s. Yeah. Which we have regularly. <laughs> Uh, so there we go. I can't just randomly translate off you saying things. Oh yes, of course you can't. I'm just uh, hooking it up to Google Translate at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, and just, no, obviously it's not Greek, you silly thing. Okay. But this has kind of worked because what's happening right now mm -hmm. is some of them have now been dragged over here out of the castle. So this is going to be fine. It's, it's all gone a little bit. A little bit. Uh, yeah, and Tits reminding up. you that you can whistle to distract guards if you need to. Yeah. Uh, Google Translate says it means, furthermore, uh, the Carthage, the Carthage must be destroyed. Mm -hmm. is, maybe we could go the way of Facebook and leave, leave the the. Yes. You know? uh, <laughs> but anyway, Yash gave us $5 and says, uh, also, you're Hugo nominated, and yes, you have to read that bit aloud. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. Um, Travis gave us two dollars and says, Claire, is there any way to support you for the Hugo? It's not really a support thing, uh, it's a vote thing if you're like a Worldcon person. Um, so, you know, if you want to watch the videos and comment on the videos, then that's cool, but you know, um, I, I don't really want. I'll enjoy killing you! It's a thing that. Uh, it's a community thing, so if you're not in the community, then, you know, I don't really want, like, a bunch of people from outside the community coming in and voting for me, because then it's not, like... Yes. You know, that's just... yeah. This has gone a little bit wrong, by the way. Some could mm -hmm. argue this has gone slightly wrong. Slightly wrong. But on the plus side, they've all come over here to try and murder me. Uh, which is going to work out just fine, because now that means I can just sneak around the back of them. Alright, sneak around the back of all of them, and... Okay, aside from the fact you've just also spotted me, uh, and what we're gonna do now is... <laughs> we're gonna... We're just gonna boot... We're just gonna boot you off that. Oh dear, oh dear. Everything's fine. Everything this is all precisely how it's supposed to be going. There's none of this has gone horribly wrong. This is all precisely according to, uh, precisely according to the plan. This is exactly what's supposed to be happening right now. This is this is this is perfect. Uh, aside from all of you who seem to be a little bit concerned about me, but that's fine. That's it's 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 okay. We're just gonna we're just it's, it's sooner or later. It's it's some of them are dead, so they're not gonna be tracking me down anymore. Where are all the, okay, they're all still over there. So actually, as they the last time they saw me was up there. This is all gonna work out just fine. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just going into this guy's house. Uh, everything's, everything's under control. This is precisely how it's supposed to be going. There is no, not a chance this has all gone completely wrong. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> you right now, by the way. Okay, drop down over here. Drop down over here. 
And now they don't seem to know precisely where I am, which is good. Loads of them are just hanging out over there. They're just desperately trying to to find me. You're all over there together in a group. I see you over there. Yeah, they're, they're vaguely hunting, but they don't know where I am anymore. This is all gone. Oh, that's a big ass chest, mind. Oh, that's a. I'm, I'll take a big ass chest. There we go. I'm not actively a hostile anymore. And how crucial it is that they get it by any means necessary. Okay, they want the estate. This is fine. We're just gonna. We're just gonna wait until everything cools down. Claire. Yeah. Shout out to Distorted Triangle who gave us twenty dollars and says I'm at work, so I can't watch the stream, but I wanted to show my support. Oh, thank you. Very lovely. Thank the leader you. of my race uh, tried Ms. arranging a Lilith marriage for Lesbos a death. Lesbos Succubus. Sounds like an easy way to get her father's right estate. Now in the game, um, <clears throat> gave us five pounds uh, and says, do you know about a series called My Roommate is a Cat about an introvert getting a kitten and writing a detective novel about her kitten? I No. This is, this is, this is no, all news to even, me. I don't know if this is like a... a like a... Yeah. Like a book series or a graphic novel or a manga or something like that. Uh, or if it is in fact like on YouTube. So uh, do let us know a bit more so we can find it. Uh, and Andrew gave us $5. And says, I just got here. Apparently we're discussing Fagan's tragedy. Sweet. I love your stream. Thank you. Okay, so we are a little bit behind. Got it. This letter claims that Odessa hired Always other mercenaries. Behind, John. I wonder why. Okay. Odessa hired a mercenary herself, so she knew she was in trouble before she came to me to help. All right, my my girlfriend has secrets, as it turns out. Secrety, secrety, secret. Oh no, hide. It's fine. Everything's under control, and when I say that, I've just walked into a room that has no only one exit. If you would just like to walk in here and then turn immediately to the right, that'd be. Right. Oh, good. You got bored and wanted off. Well, that works for me. That de He didn't see the corpse either. Good, 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 good. So, you know, he's going to see that corpse in a second. Uh, but when he does, that should be fine. I think there should be... There's one more bit of... Aha! One more bit of evidence. One of Odessa's suitors died mysteriously shortly after meeting her. So they tried to get her married off to steal the property totally legally. And then... She and that guy ended up dead. Then mercenaries were hired. Okay, she's she's got some explaining to do. As I'll go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This was this was the wrong way to go. By the way, everything's fine. I'm just gonna go rob some stuff. Clap. Oh cool. My roommate is a cat is a manga series, and they made it into an anime, and it's on Crunchyroll. So we can go check that out if we want to. We know we're not on Crunchyroll, are we? I have a Crunchyroll account. Do you? Is it? Oh, that's paid, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you. you I think you make an account and then you can... Oh, it's a storefront. I thought it was a subscription service. No, it's service. not a storefront. It's like you make an account and then you like kind of sign up for a paid account and watch during that time. Ah. But I cancelled it when Yuri on Ice wasn't on anymore. I see. Well, not when it was... You know, when I finished watching it. Mm -hmm. um, yes, at this point I just need to burn some supplies and loot some treasures. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Nathan who gave us five pounds. And says, uh, I'm really enjoying the stream while I have time off from working in care. A big thanks to you. Oh, well, thank you very, very much indeed. And thank you for the work you do. Absolutely. And yes, uh, some people are saying Crunchyroll oh. can be watched for free. I can't remember because it has been ages. But uh, I will trust your expertise on that. You do not need any count. So fair enough. Uh... <laughs> and shout out again to Trav has cooties, which is a username I'm enjoying. Uh, who gave us five dollars and said thank you Claire Tabby and the history professor you're letting stay with you during the pandemic <laughs> dear oh dear oh yes okay uh, Crunchyroll is free uh, with ads and then obviously premium I hate having ads on stuff mm -hmm. so crunchy so you know premium account for that um, and shout out to Christian who gave us five euros and says uh Oh, well then you can request tunes. This dates back to when you first mentioned that you had learned that shanty. Yes. Yeah. We will, um, uh, we will so, when we're back on the sea, we will have a little shanty. Uh, they requested Cotton Eye Joe. That's not a sea shanty. No. The rules also, of sea shanty requests are sea shanties. Also, I think, um, 
I, th I think possibly that's a song that uh, could get us demonetized because copyright claimed and whatnot. So. Only if I'm really good at singing it. Yeah, yeah, but you don't need to point that out. I was offering you an out if you didn't want to sing it, but sure. Uh, shout out to uh, Justin who gave us fifty dollars and didn't leave a message. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very, very much, Justin. Uh, and uh, yes, let's. See. There's another one over there. There's one up top here. There's, the, the nice thing about this game is there's kind of like there isn't there is a positive thing about messing up, which is if you mess up and you just run out of the place, they all follow you, and then if you just lose them, they've all run off in that direction, meaning you actually can then just like you know. All of a sudden, you've got yourself a really advantageous position where they've all cleared out because they've all naffed off over there. Mm. So you've got plenty of time to just, you know, go and do other stuff, which is kind of cool. Right, so we're just going to burn that too. Then there's one more over there as needs to be burnt down, and then that should be fine. Because apparently we've... Oh, apparently we've already killed the captain. Who knew, eh? I mean... I, I, I thought... would have assumed it because you kill everyone, but... I do not kill everyone. I kill some people when they're in my way. I don't mean to, it just sort of happens. Yes, indeed. Uh, and Air Terranium oh. wants to know how much it would take for John to sing a shanty, which does he know? Um, it won't take anything because last time somebody requested he sing a shanty and he didn't know the tune, so he went and looked up the tune. I think it might have been you. We'll do the shanty when we get back on the sea. Yes. Uh, which uh, we will do, if anything, at the end of the stream. Yes. Uh, and we should be going for another half hour or so. Thereabouts, yes. Uh, and shout out to DB Explorer who gave us $10 and says, Unicorn Assassins! There will be Unicorn Assassins as soon as we can. Yes, there I we hope go. you appreciate my rendition of five whole exclamation points. That's, uh, I, 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 felt, <laughs> I felt at least three of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Jeff who gave us five dollars and says, uh, "Yay, two of my favorite things: John stabbing things and also history, uh, and also high Claire." So hello. Hello, and oh, nation power just went down. I'm reducing the power of the entire nation through excessive stabbing. This is great. <laughs> For a second, I was like, "Wait, they have a power cut." I've, I've just reduced the power of Megara for excessive stabbing. I'm really damaged. I'm really hurting them right now. This is this is not good for them. Clap. Uh, shout out to Lady Cricket who gave us five dollars and says everyone knows Megara. Hublea is the superior Megara. Apparently. I'm sure that's true. I do not know. Uh, A Smith gave us two dollars and says what was Megara? Uh, what was Megara City of uh, flaming? What they, well, uh, what I was trying to say before uh, yes, you okay. come in for one point was so it's a big garble, but I think they're quoting you being a big garble. Cassandra specifically play. said Megara City of pigs and nothing else, uh, which we don't know that's true, but it reflect that's a reference to the pig joke I mentioned last week. Ah uh, yes, yes. Uh, which is very unfair because probably Megara was known for all sorts of things, but we don't know because Megara <laughs> didn't really write anything down that survived. Uh, so, you know, basically we're just going on the slightly, I, 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 I think that's a very, like a, a quiet little yeah, Aristophanes joke there. Yes, indeed. And, and, and shout out to, to Emil, who gave us 50 dies. Danish kroner, and says, I'm tossing you guys killed. 50, thank you for Nobody's the entertainment. Sure so she's been known uh, to hire other mercenaries. It's difficult to tell if the death has a experience. Mm -hmm. Gave us five dollars and says, "I just joined, but I immediately know that John's plan is a bad idea." My plan worked. Just uh, a few people died, but mostly my plan worked. Which is great because they probably sent this like forty-five or half an hour ago or something, and it was probably a different plan. But this still applies. It still very much. It always applies. Uh, yes. They say. Also, do you have any plans for having a look at uh, the original Fallout for uh, Fallout Four? The original Final Fantasy VII on the PS One. Uh, we did. Tycoon. We did. You can look it up. You can look up the uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII and the original Transport Tycoon. I think there's a video of too because we played that and Transport. Uh, oh wait, we played Transport. Oh, this is in Transport games. Uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, I don't know about that one. But we have played. We did play the original Final Fantasy as a one-off before we got to uh, before we got to the new one. So. That has already happened. Now, time for some sexing. It's time for the sexing. You've returned. I hope with good news. And yes, indeed. Let's have. 
Let's have some fun first. No, I'll give you the information that proves why people are trying to murder you before I insist upon the sacks. I'm not sure if it's good or not yet. There were two pieces of proof I found that are after you. Perfect. What were the reasons? One was due to your family's wealth. The other had to do with an arranged marriage. That's plenty of proof showing I'm the victim here. Yes, but you hired mercenaries. You've hired other mercenaries. Oh, just for odd jobs here and there. There's always something to be done that could use one. Hmm, and your suitor ended up dead. A man you were meant to marry was killed suddenly. I... He was probably killed by the same people who want to kill me. Hmm, what's going on here, my girlfriend? After everything I found, I know what's going on. And what's that? And uh, you're a victim. The leader is right! No, let's take her side. I'm not sure whether she's actually innocent or not. But, uh, you know, honestly, as you are aware, I'm kind of down for women who are kind of in the wrong and kind of into a bit of murder and whatnot. It's fine. Now that I know she's been hiring mercenaries and killing people, and she's like a black widow, I'm more into her. She's got big thriller energy. <laughs> you don't deserve any of this. You're only trying to live your life. Of course I am. I've done nothing wrong. I just want to have a healthy father and to start my journey. And you'll start your journey. Let's journey to bed! You can start that after we have a little fun. Oh, I do you enjoy nice your man. attempt. Tell me, what is it that's meant to make me swoon this time? Oh shit, that's a secret. Undress me and find out. I didn't think that far ahead! <laughs> I think she's into secrets. I think she's into her. I think she's into her secrets. But oh no, I'm just gonna flirt aggressively. If you undress me, I think you'll find out. I can do that. <gasps> hey! Yes. And I think I think I might have just solved the mystery as to why uh, her engaged husband ended up dead. I think I think she might mm. not swing that, that way. That was enough to make me swoon. Told you. So that's it then. I guess there's nothing else to do. And you should join my crew. Yes, do you want to come aboard my ship? It doesn't have to be goodbye. Why not join my crew? Hmm, well, you were always on my side. Plus, getting away from here would be nice. Great. What about your father? He's been feeling a lot better, thanks to you. You aren't worried someone will come after him? I'll be sure to share the information you found with a few people. They won't touch him so long as we have it. Then I'm happy to have you aboard. All right, we get ourselves a new crew member, whether she's going to be uh, more use or not. And also, new weapon, Odessa's bow. And it was looking pretty fancy. I think my bow is not spectacular. So, hang on. I mean, it's, it's at a higher level. 80 DPS, 105 DPS, headshot and hunt damage up. Go for it. And it looks, it's good, kind of badass. It is, it is a black bow for a black widow as she is. Uh, so okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And we also gained Spartan, uh, Van Bracers, so more armor. That is Assassin Damage, uh, which I am... Actually, hang on, that's... Yeah, 54% Assassin Damage, also Assassin Damage. Yeah, it's just basically the same thing, but better. So we'll go for, uh, that, and then we'll just redesign it so it looks a bit more fancy. I do like things to look nice and ridiculously over the top. That's the stuff right there. That's the stuff. Got myself a new skirt as well. Uh, so I'm on 53 and warrior damage. Uh, that is worse. That is worse. So I don't... Oh, hang on. Is that the new one? That's what I'm wearing right now, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm wearing right now. Uh, I'll leave that. It's pretty good, all things considered. So we'll just leave that be. Okay. In which case, I think we should probably... And go... yeah, um, people are just pointing out in the chat that uh, she doesn't not swing that way. Mm -hmm. uh, she's canonically bisexual, of course, because you can romance her with Alexis uh, as yes, well. Ah, yes, of course, yes. Um, so there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, and da -da 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 -da. Uh, let's see. Slurry Dude gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, I said, I meant to come by earlier, but SpaceX launch. Ah, Ooh. very exciting. Uh, Daniel gave us five pounds and says, uh, and wants to know, John, uh, is, uh, Final Fantasy VII worth it? I just can't justify playing, paying 60 pounds for part of a game. Um. I mean, it's, 
I feel like it, it's it been so expanded, it feels like it is more of a full game. But like, I can understand where people are coming from, because there is a tendency these days that you often find people will sell full price games only have like 10 hour campaigns but some people like Ubisoft are still selling campaigns that are much 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 longer but equally those campaigns sometimes can drag a bit as they go on I don't know whether that's going to be true for this one this one seems to be well regarded some previous Assassin's Creed games I get bored of Watch Dogs 2 I I got worn out on whereas Watch Dogs 1 I did not so yeah difficult to uh difficult to say difficult to say uh, but yeah, it's, it's really a matter of personal choice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I, I don't have any problem with games that are really well put together and don't outstay their welcome being on the short side. I think anything below a 10 hour campaign, like an eight hour campaign, I feel is a little bit too short. I don't think a 10 hour campaign, if it's really well put together, is just fine. Also, I'm guessing this guy's now hunting me, given he's actually, uh, given he's actually showed up. Uh, and if he does show up, what do we need to learn about him? More damage from fire. And less damage from range. So assassination works just fine, but no bonus damage. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's all absolutely fine. Yeah, we'll mark him just in case he's... Uh, is he around? Because it just said he was in Mega uh, helping out with Spartans. And uh, there he is. So... Is a unicorn? I'm not sure I could. I still can't afford it. Yeah. I can't afford that, unfortunately. Uh, let's... Uh, Daniel, uh, as I mentioned, <laughs> you, uh, Daniel had another part to their, to his question. So, ah, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Wants to know, Claire, have you read Hogwarts School of Prayer and Miracles? I have not. Uh, not particularly interested in that. Uh, um, and uh, says to Tabby, meow, meow. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Indeed. Uh, there you go. Apparently, there was a special thing I missed over this temple. I'm going to go back and grab that. Uh, and shout out to uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Shout out to William who gave us ten dollars and says I'm really enjoying the new all the world blues run. I just recorded the next part of that today, and yeah. would you believe I have plans and they go horribly, horribly wrong? Oh yes. Would oh, yes, you, would you do. believe it? Uh, yeah, and uh, shout out to uh, Jacob, who gave us $5, and says, fun fact, the song Oh Shenandoah, that I believe is in Fallout 76, was originally a shanty for fur traders traveling along the Missouri River. Yeah, that's fun. Mm. I did not know that. I mean, often, I, I very often do not have the, uh, the radio on uh, in Fallout because of, you know, yeah, the of problems of... Uh, uh, the various problems of I'm being chased by a wolf right now. Uh, excuse me, please, please stop, stop, stop. I want to get onto a rudder, should be faster. There we go. Hopefully you'll do with that for me. Uh, but just because of copyright problems. So I often miss, I often miss large parts of the soundtrack. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Edward, who gave us 20 euros and says, Evening, John, Claire, and Chad. I hope you enjoy the romance options in this game. They, I, I like how she's just such a ridiculous flirt. Like, if you want to, you can just make... Mm -hmm. Like, you know, this character's trying to have a sensible conversation with you about how they want to do this, and they want to do that, and I this is important, and that's important, sex. and they really need to do this, that, and the other. You can just basically, every line can just be sex, sex, sex. Yes, I'll help your dying father and murder the king of Megara, but how about some sex? Like how you can just be the least subtle bastard. You can basically just be like a Zap Brannigan. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love it. Yeah, and shout out also to Noir Angel who gave us uh, $15 and says, Hey, John and Claire, with the channel's anniversary around the corner, what's on the menu for this year? Keep up the great content. Oh, and we've also got uh, Chief Orally uh, give, give us $2 and ask uh, also when's the next baking video. Uh, that will be the channel anniversary, but as what it is, spoilers, sweetie, those are special. We don't talk about those ahead of time, they're special. Yes, indeed, and channel anniversary for those of you who don't know, is it like 15 or 20th of May? 27th, or the nearest Saturday, usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I think, I think we're going after that mercenary right now. I think we're going after the merc. <laughs> we're going for him. Uh, let's see, shout out to Jordan, who uh, gave us $10.00. And says, if Sparta won the war due to higher level gear and soldiers, shouldn't the British have won the American Revolution? Maybe the French brought enough high level soldiers to help us out. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
I, I, I still feel like we were just robbed on that one in general. We technically didn't really lose that war. It just stopped being profitable for us to bother fighting it. Uh, <laughs> Mackie gave us $5. And said, so I'm joining late because I was uh, busy working uh, on my poor mom. I'm an LNT. Uh, and says, I hope you're both doing good. Take care of your health. We are doing very well. Neither of us have shown any uh, symptoms of any of the uh, the old Rona yet, so we're doing it just fine for now. I mean, yeah, it would be. I don't know. Obviously, it ha obviously it, it's the whole point is that it's relatively easy to catch, but uh, we have been very, very much indoors for a very you know for a very long time and and being very, very, very careful. So yes. There's some more treasure down over there. There are people. Just make sure we are safe, but I think we're okay here for now. Yeah, it seems like we're okay. This guy seems very isolated. Okay, I can stealth attack him, but it's not going to do much, to be honest. That's a bit of a concern. But then I could immediately follow it up by a kick. I could kick him off that ledge. Which is... Whether that's... You know, I think I should take out the rest of his squad first. I'm going to assassinate the rest of his squad before we get into killing him because i feel like cause it's getting into a proper fight otherwise there's going to be trouble so Whee! there we go like that so, so you jumped off a roof not into a bale of hay you were flying yes well i jumped into a bale of human that was fair enough uh dear oh dear Don't shout out to dagmar who gave us 50 danish bonus says john i blame you for 90 hours spent on this game since your first video which is a good job because it was in my library for a year before that this it, it, this strikes me as a good quarantine game mm. this is a good quarantine game absolutely yeah uh emil gave us 100 danish krona and says thanks for the entertainment guys uh i good did God, as we would say here, which is Danish for I, uh, for you're doing well. So there you go. <laughs> I mean, I have I don't even know where to start because I don't know how to pronounce those specific letters. Uh, but anyway, um, Edward gave us five pounds and says hi, John and Claire. I hope you're both well. Congratulations, Claire, on the huge nomination. Uh, can we call you Joe Lysett because you're a Hugo boss? That's ridiculous. That's wow. That was that was a stretch. That was that was a good. That was quite the stretch. I approve, but still. <laughs> Suddenly, Steve gave us five dollars and says, uh, "FYI, that tomb you looted like thirty minutes ago was yep. of uh, Acalthus, son of Pelops, and grandfather of Ajax. So shame on you, I guess." Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's all fine. I don't know if it was shame on you for looting a, to a tomb or for not recognizing the tomb. Ow! Just threw myself off a cliff. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> shout out to Paul Wilson who gave us $2 and says, uh, The leader can't afford the known murderer debuff. There we go. I don't think you get the non-murderer debuff in Assassin's Creed, to be No, honest. I'm not convinced you do. Mm. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Reform Nerd gave us five dollars uh, and says, I'm enjoying uh, this in my uh, MATN shirt while drinking tea from my brand new MATN mug that arrived today. Oh, sweet. So there you go. Uh, I mean, we heard from the FTBA, um, they've got, you know, they're a small company, uh, and they are very dedicated to, you know, protecting the people who work with them, so, or, and who, who work for them, uh, so they have highly, highly reduced their operations. They're still sending stuff out, but there's literally, like, one person working in their warehouse right now, just yes. so that they can be safe. Uh, so... Strikes me as eminently reasonable. But stuff is arriving anyway. Very reasonable. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see... Uh, Jacob gave us 45 Danish krona and says, John, if I was to run an RPG campaign in ancient Greece or related area, what time and place would uh, be good for it, in your opinion? Uh, I mean, I'd, I like that the the Peloponnesian War is great. I'd have gone for slightly later in the Peloponnesian War than they've chosen to for this game. I'd have gone for... Can I set fire to that map, by the way? Oh, you can't... Oh, is that... No, it doesn't catch fire, boo. 
Uh, I'd have gone for the, the Syracuse expedition, and, like, rather than DLC set in fucking Atlantis, I'd have gone for a Syracuse expedition, or Sicilian expedition DLC. But no, they went for fucking Atlantis, with the elves, the super tall elf people that live in Atlantis, because... Ah! <laughs> Sure, you assassin's crazy, you stupid nonsense history. Dear oh flippin' dear. He's not going... Sadly, he's not going back to that spot he was in a while ago, which is a shame because he was in a really good place to kick off. Uh, but now, instead, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to stab him and then go into maybe a kick, if we can. So we can do a little bit of damage to him, but it's not going to do that much. So stealth attack. <sighs> There we go. So that's pretty good. And Here now we, we go. just need to... Yeah, now he's on the move. Actually, now we might be able... If we can just lose him, we might be able to... Uh, we might be able to... Uh, yep, just... Yeah, I see. I, I know where you are. I know where you are. So you're going to try and attack me now. But if I can just lose you, then we might be able to get you close by to a ledge. And then I can kick you off it. Because I'm going to be honest, that's what I want to do. That, that's kind of my That's kind of my plan. Okay, now, now you've lost. 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 No, go back to the edge. Go back to the... Boo! Go back to the edge, you dick. I was having fun with you being at the edge. I enjoy the idea of kicking you off it. Now he's going into the temple. Okay. That's fine. Um, where are you now? Oh, maybe. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Actually, maybe... Can I, can I do a drop assassinate from the top of a pillar? I don't know if you can. Apparently you can't. No. Uh, oh, maybe. Then he, then he lost me. How did you lose me? I was right there. Uh, but that's fine. Wait, wait. Can I do another stealth attack on him? Can I just keep doing... Okay, no, I can't. Oh, he's... Wow. Okay, he's tougher than I thought. Okay, I need to get you over to the edge, please. I need to get you over to the edge. That's just a random vulture. Then he's going to start taking pop shots at me. And... There we go. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I see what you're doing. Ow. No, no, you don't. Oh, camera. Behave. Behave, camera. Flipping behave. Uh, I need to get you over towards an edge. And no. Oh, yes. Ha ha. Oh. I just, this is Sparta Tim so fucking hard. Did you see that? That was so good. I didn't. I was doing something. That was so good. Also, those guys do not I'm give a sorry. shit. Sorry. Yes, you better look flippin' and Yeah, that's right. You're going. You're going in the pot. You're going in the ponds now. Yeah. Barrel at sea. Boom. Sweet. Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing. That was actually the best thing. Full damage in this game is so hilarious. And look at that. Look at all the people saying this and saying, well done, Sparta. What a kick. Yes, nice. See, I was actually good at a game. No, I know you were. I was, I'm sorry. I'm to... so rarely good at games, Claire. I'm going to go assassinate the king of Megara. Oh, I know, I know. You were just very, very loud and I was taken by surprise. Which is, you know, the experience everybody has. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to the pillar who gave us five pounds uh, and says, I don't usually catch these lives as I prefer to skip through super chats. But since I'm here, hashtag hypocrisy. <laughs> Uh, Thank you very much. I prefer Hippocrates myself, but you know, it's oh fine. Oh my god, John. Seriously? <laughs> I know. Mm. Oh, shout out to Mackie who gave us $10 and says, Here's some money for a good Spartan kick for that mercenary. Well done. I think I deserve that. That was a that was amazing kick. That was... He just... He was going back and I thought he wasn't going to go. Then he just teetered off the end. The animation was beautiful. Oh, that was... That was the best. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy. With how that went. Oh, just, just, mwah, chef's kiss of death. <laughs> oh, that was just the best thing. I'm so happy about that, Claire. I'm going to leave the King of Megara alone. I've decided me and him are going to be friends. We're going to be friends. Not this guy, though. Me and this guy are not going to be friends. Screw you. There we go. Minus 10 to nation power for your stupid nation. Oh! 
What? I went back and rewatched it. It was so cool. Yeah, I know. I know, right? You missed it. You missed me doing it. Oh my god, it was so cool. I know, wasn't it good? The kicks are very good. <laughs> Oh dear. There's clearly uh, treasure underwater here. There must be a cave that leads down into them. Oh no! Yes? Oh, I'm so sorry. Thomas says he fell asleep because he was uh, he had a very tiring day and uh, your scream woke him up in a panic. He thought it was a fire alarm. Oh, I'm so it... sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry. Is it our Thomas? Yes. As in mod Thomas, yeah. yeah. Oh dear. I'm Thomas, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It didn't mean to wake you up. Also, why is... Yeah, this is the cave system, but why is there no one in it? Oh! It's because you're not a bad guy. You just live here. This is just your house. Alright, well, I'm, I'm just... I'm just coming and exploring then. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just coming and exploring your house. Uh, yeah, and shout out also to Department of Redundancy Department, who gave us 10 Swiss francs. And says, Swiss knows. Thanks to much uh, fewer cases, the country is reopening starting tomorrow. But by June, a lot will be open, but only small gatherings will be authorized and restaurants will still be closed. Mm -hmm. I think we need, we know what we need right now. Uh -huh. You know the currency update person? Yes. We need them to come and explain why oil's suddenly so cheap. Because I don't understand why oil's so cheap. I just understand it is. Oh, you're a wolf. There yes. you go. Hello. Dead. I would know. I would know this person if I saw their username like immediately. I can remember what yes. the picture looks like, but I cannot remember that bloke's name. I'm yeah. very sorry. Sorry. Uh, dear oh dear. Uh, let's see. Mm, okay, that mm, cave didn't have any deeper in it. So how else do we get down underground? We need to find another way to get underground. Must be more ways. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Dragon Trapper who gave us five dollars and says badass kick bonus. Oh, sweet. Uh, and Selena Kim who gave us five Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, there wasn't a message, therefore you can imagine it was due to your it was badass due to, kick. It was due to badass. Mm -hmm. kick. It, it it deserved it. A bonus for badass. Oh, it was just in the tomb. It was just the guys in the tomb. Though. Actually, I wonder if it, now it's night. Maybe it's unguarded. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oil and all is cheap because no one is driving anywhere anywhere and factories are shut down supply and demand john the oil doesn't like go off why not just hoard it if rather uh, than... oil is cheap because put crudely it goes off and nobody is using it so oh it does go off okay of i didn't it. realize oil just went off i think maybe it maybe is it less efficient if you you know i don't know my uh, shit now my shit now because you left your bank oh, and unlocked there's no place to store it ah interesting Nice yeah, I mean, nice it's quite interesting, I think, what ah, this no, situation has to do. <laughs> I feel like wow. I deserve being set on fire, yeah, given I'm robbing um, their town. I think it's quite interesting what the situation has shown us about, like, the, 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 the supply lines for everything that we use, you know, like, the fact that it's not that people... It's not merely that people have been hoarding toilet paper. Some people have been, but it's mostly that... Most people, because they're not at home all day, every day. Ah, shit, that's a giant snake. Fuck, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, that, me either. That took me by surprise. Fuck you, giant snake. Shitting hell. Okay, uh, watch out for giant snakes. Anyway, Fuck. look up why there is a shortage of toilet paper and flour. Because it's not just because of hoarding. It's because normally we don't need to buy as much for our houses. We need to buy, you know businesses restaurants and offices need to buy you know offices need to buy toilet paper restaurant bakeries need to buy flour and so it's just a different supply like mechanism for that and it's just not sold to the same. ow fudge anyway there's one. so many snakes you should look it up it's fuck really you interesting. yeah i've set, I've set um, the snake on fire <laughs> also i'm really proud of myself i just found a dun a secret dungeon hidden behind a secret wall and there's like a whole thing down here yeah, shout out to Beep Boop who says, Hey, John, found the tomb! I did, I found the secret tomb. Well done. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to Andreas who gave us 17 Danish krona. And says, thanks for streaming. I have nothing better to do. Aww. Well, we are glad you are enjoying yourself. Whilst John is setting fire to... A Records! Bookshelf. Everything. Is that a good idea? Setting fire to all the things. Setting fire to the town records. Why? Huh? 
I'm standing up for the little guy. Look, this town is literally trying to assassinate my girlfriend. So I'm beating the shit out of this town. That looks like the sort of trap puzzle that's going to kill you, doesn't it? Yes. I'm just going to not step on that. Ooh. Oh, is this bullshit on toast Assassin's Creed piece of Eden nonsense? I'm feeling like it is. That's looking like it's a... What? Okay. I just completed the tomb. I mean, I don't feel like I completed the tomb, because so there's clearly a giant chest right here. Uh, but I leveled up from... Oh, no! Fuck you! Fuck you, random snake. Ah, there you go. Now you're on fire. <laughs> I like how we can just pull flaming oh torches God. out of Amazing. my arse. It's great. Uh, Thomas says John presumably just burned Minanta's other place. Shh! I got a head hook. I like the sound of a hedgehog. Yeah, because it's almost like a hedgehog. It's true. Yeah. Was there a rug that's a lion? Yes, but sadly I can't take it for mine. Or burn it? Uh, let's see if I can burn it. That's a good point. No, I don't think you can burn things so low to the ground, can you? Yeah. Speaking so of lions, uh, Sarah gave us two uh, dollars and wants to know if we've seen Tiger King yet. And no, says still haven't. on Twitter. Still haven't. I'm going to pull up puppies for you. What happened is that um, before you commented, uh, Sarah, to let us know that we should watch it, we've just been aware of it because people were talking about it on Twitter. We both thought it was a, like a, a, a one time full length, you know, yeah. a feature length. Netflix documentary like the Fire Festival one. Yes. Uh, we did not realize it was as long as it is. Uh, and then, you know, MasterChef was happening. So, yeah. Uh, Although I'll admit, I, I'm a tiny bit not 100% comfortable with the idea of like a TV show that basically sensationalizes and deliberately attempts to make people question, hey, did someone commit a murder when that person is like alive and hasn't been uh, charged with anything? C congrats. Uh, Congratulations, John, and welcome to the true crime genre. It has problems. There are points of that I'm not 100% convinced I'm 100% comfortable with. Well, yeah, I mean, from what I've heard, it's like everybody in that is like absolutely awful. And like all the people are super abusive to each other. So I don't know. Yes. Uh, I mean, like, you know, when someone's yeah. been, like, you know, convicted and tried and when there's been a, you know, a trial, even if they were found innocent, at least there's been a trial where evidence has been presented, I'm more comfortable with that, conceptually. When you're literally just saying, hey, let's just accuse someone of murder, basically. But, like, you know, in a way where they legally can't sue us as easily. Because we're just saying, well, maybe she did it when there's been no actual trial. I'm, I'm just not 100% convinced I'm cool with that. Yeah. Just, you know, not 100%. And this was so cool. I just love the system. And, like, no one told me, go, hey, go to this, go to this dungeon or anything. I just, I just found a dungeon behind a fake wall. And there was a little dungeon full of snakes, which is enemy oh. I've never, shit, never seen before. Fuck you, uh, snake. Hey, hey, John? Yes? Uh, there's some shelves you can, like, grab and yank and find some stuff behind. Ooh, is there? So if you want to, like... Try and yank some shelves. Is it just, some of them have? Does it show like? Is it like a? There'll be a, like a. Contextual... I don't know. People were saying, "Grab that shelf," but you'd already moved. And, there'll you know, be a, con... a bit of lag. There'll so... be a contextual. Yeah, yeah. There'll, I'm gonna check. Be a clue I'm gonna it's check a the bookshelves. Yes. Uh, you do that. Uh, shout out also to uh, Andreas who uh, I thought you read that one. Sorry. Shout out to Chief Orally who gave us ten dollars and says, "I've been watching since uh, Kill Everything." Thank you for the amazing videos. First stream in a while. I'm gonna go back and binge watch the Crusader Kings playthrough soon. Thank you for everything. Oh, well, you're very, very welcome indeed. Oh, uh, and that's gonna be really fun for you, the Crusader Kings. The Crusader Kings is good shit. I think it's so good. It's so, so good. good. Love it. Is it this one? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, it's this. I see that. Uh, I can lift it or I can just set it on fire or break it. So I think the other one just broke. Yeah, yeah, we go. Just stop that. Yeah. Watch out for more snakes. Yep, thought so. Snacky snack. Can you, like, roll the snake in the carpet? Wait, Wait where am I? Oh, I felt like that was... No, I, I just went back to find a shortcut to take me back to the area I'd already walked to. But can you roll <laughs> the snake in that carpet? Because all the snakes are showing up on the carpet. You want me to... What? 
Well, I don't know. All the snakes are all showing up randomly on carpets. Yes. So I was wondering if the carpet was in some way a mechanism to, like, neutralize the snake. No. Oh, well. No, that is not a thing. Uh, anyway, uh, shout out to Christian, who gave us two euros, uh, and, uh, <laughs> was talking about, uh, one of the songs we mentioned says, but can it be sung as a sea chant? Which, I'm not, I'm not sure I what I may have mean. missed a pun here. I think I've missed a pun. Okay, I've robbed this stupid town. I've broken into the house. I've stolen all its treasure. I haven't killed its its mayor. I've decided to let him live for now. But I've significantly reduced local power by virtue of various bits of, you know, murder. That's what I've done. Uh, and shout out also to Mr. Ghost of Five, who uh, gave us $5 and says, No one knows about Megaris because John burned all the records down. That's pos- this is now co- yeah, that's canon. Canon. That's now- that's how oh, now his- John, as, as we call you. history. <laughs> Re- I- ca- IRL canon is history. Everybody is, uh, enjoying, uh, my stupid thing about, uh, rolling up the carpet, by the way. Yes, that uh, was, it was a, it was an interesting thought. Yes, the indeed. first thought when you are an assassin armed with bows, knives, so poison, daggers, everything. was the first thought when Not seeing, you know, an, an enemy is, is, maybe we could roll him up in a carpet. Well, maybe I don't want to kill the snakes. They've done nothing wrong, John. Well, not just this guy, but I'm still going to stab him. Ah! You really enjoy stabbing people in the ass, by the way. I do a lot of stabbing people in the ass. He's on fire, by the way. Yeah, but then he's just ac- had a tragic torch accident. Exactly. The perfect cram. <laughs> the perfect cram. Anyway, shout out to uh, Norfolk Nova. I'm assuming Norfolk Nova, who uh, gave us two pounds and didn't leave a message. And to Miss Lilith, who gave us two pounds and uh, reminds us that the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. They often do. Especially my plans. My plans go so awry. Oh, yeah, super awry. Like, so awry. You have no the idea. Like, pretty much, yes. Uh, Jordan uh, gave us five dollars and says, "I almost forgot to mention. Congratulations, uh, Claire, on the Hugo nomination. So thank you very much." Oh, for that. so many congratulations! Mm-hmm. It's gonna be so cool when we get to like just before it. How so? Well, like you know, you'll be able to do live streams where people will be really supportive of you, literally just like the week or the day before. Yes, that will be nice. That will be really nice. I just, you know, I didn't want to live here, by the way. Ah. Mm. <sighs> A person lives here. A soldier. It's possibly his house. But I kind of don't care. I don't know. It's just a bit weird because, like, when you and I talk about it and you're not in, like, within that Worldcon community, it's, it's sometimes I think you, you don't realize how much bigger of a deal than me the other people who are nominated are. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, I just need everybody to, like, get their, you know... Ooh. I just need everybody to get their expectations in check. Because <laughs> some people are talking about it like it's a shoe and it's really not. I think you're going to win. Anyway, uh, it is almost time to feed Tabby. Well, it is past time to feed Tabby. Thank you, Adam. No, we're just wrapping up now. Okay, here we go, 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 here we go. Ah! Boo! Come on, one more, one more, one more. Oh, it's on cooldown! Boo! Boo, I say! No, it's off cooldown. Boo! Oh, he didn't fall as far. Okay, but now they're going to try and come up this ladder. Now he's going to try and come up this ladder. And... Oh, he got the thing in before me. That's a shame. Okay, um... Alpha, you go. Excuse me, finish off this guy, finish off this guy. This is... Hey. Okay, um... You're now... Just... And you just... Bye! I love how massive fall damage is, because it just so heavily incentivizes kicking people off high places, which is what obviously you want to do when you're playing a Greek game as a Spartan. Yes, indeed. Uh, and shout out to uh, Trevin, who gave us $10. 
and says, Hi, John and Claire, I love hearing your voices during this darkest timeline. I bet real time uh, makes it obnoxious to make content, but are there plans for uh, more Animal Crossing videos on the horizon? Uh, not videos, but it's entirely possible that I could... Uh do say uh, like a little live stream where I could come and I thought like I think the best form might be I come and visit your islands and like you know maybe like you know uh, mods go like ahead to verify that the islands are really cool so they like tell me like the what the cool islands are and we go and like do something like that that might be fun that might be fun that kind of vaguely uh. strikes me as a fun <laughs> thing uh, love it. Shout out to uh, Vidotas who gave us uh, five dollars and said throwback but Homos is amazing damn it Hummus is not amazing. Hummus, I don't know why hummus. Why is hummus? It's so delicious. What is the point of hummus, seriously? I don't understand. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, shout out to Daniel, who gave us two pounds and says hi to the tabby creature. We will tell her. Uh, she's not come for, uh, she's not come asking for dinner. Uh, She'll probably be around yet. pretty soon, I imagine. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, oh. And uh, shout out to Suddenly Steve, who gave us five dollars and says, uh, uh, have I so... Have either of you read Mac Gla Max Gladstone's books? Sorry, they're sort of urban fantasy set in a world of recovering uh, after a war between men and God. Uh, so I think Steve means the series of Max Gladstone's are nominated for best series. Max Gladstone, double Hugo Award nominee this year. He's got a series that's in the best series. And he's got a novella uh, with Anna yeah. Motar in... Yeah. Um, he's fine. He's no Claire Russo. <laughs> Oh, shush, that's ridiculous, John. This is uh, my... Hey, anyway, I'm proud I, of you. That is very sweet. I'm proud of you. You're that is very you're sweet. You're special, you. and you've done very well, and you've worked really hard on your YouTube channel, and you've finally got some real recognition for it. More than I've ever got. Uh, shout out to Piotr, who says the real Hugo nomination was the gloating you could do to John along the way. Trust me, she has. Uh, she which has is been. Great. And in fact, I've been, I think I've been, I, I think I've been very supportive. It's been extremely supportive. I've been trying to uh, be as supportive as I can. To actually answer Steve's question, mm -hmm. uh, I have read This Is How You Lose a Time War, which Max Gladstone wrote with Amal Motar, uh, and I have not actually read his uh, big series yet, but uh, it is definitely something that's on my radar. Um, so let's see. Oh, uh-oh. What? The game just faded to black. Why? Oh, okay. Um, that's... Oh, is that a flashback from like, a terrible past? No, I think this is like some guys doing... Oh, possibly, yeah. Uh, that's That'll be my dad's, uh, I guess. Someone's my dad. I think that's my dad, actually, because he's old now, because time. <laughs> In real history, the Athenians and Spartans did not colour code themselves in red and blue. Aww. Everyone just wore See, a fuck ton of leather and bronze. The Athenian dog Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honour on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! Am I just literally going to walk up to my dad and say, Hi, Dad. Actually, he wouldn't recognise me because he tossed me off a cliff when I was a child. Yes. Then again, because there was the, the ageing and the de-ageing, I looked very, very similar. You you Ooh. destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. And so you no, no, don't, don't, don't reveal who you are just yet. You can't be his son. I heard his children died in Sparta many years ago. He adopted me into his household after his previous family failed him. I would never bring dishonor to him. 
Sometimes things happen in a way that you don't plan or expect. History has a way of remembering things strangely. Especially you if it's written by Herodotus. Because if you were there, <laughs> maybe I was. Nonsense. You're too young to have witnessed such things. But enough of the past. Let's discuss the future. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. Flirt with him. Flirt with him. Flirt with him. Oh, okay. Can't do that. Ew. Uh, can I just, yeah, go and say hello to my best friend, the wolf? I've come to meet the wolf of Sparta. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a sarcastic you laugh. Meet with Nikolaos. He has command of the entire Spartan army. If you truly came all this way to meet him, you might be disappointed. Are you sure you're in charge here? You don't strike me as a typical Spartan. Perhaps it's best if I just talk with Nikolaos. A sense of humor is not a trait I see being useful for a Selsor. If you're here to earn drachmi, though, I could make use of a capable mercenary. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. Oh, I am one step ahead of you with weakening Megara. That's, that's absolutely, oh. Um, so the, um, the guy I killed in the most awesome way imaginable. Yeah? He was a mercenary working for Sparta, working sure. to under, okay, so that, that's, that's, um, that's unfortunate. Yes, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to help though. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. And fair enough. I will help for a price. I am a mercenary after all. I'll help you rid Megaris of Athenians for a price. Typical of your type. No honor or sense of duty. But your skills are better serving us than our enemy. The Athenians already have a mercenary working for them. They don't need more help. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. Alright, fair enough. So, I'm guessing the Athenian leader is that same guy in the house, right? Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. Okay, fair enough. I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nikolaos. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. Okay, so I've accidentally been getting ahead of the curve here. Need to do a whole bunch of, uh, yeah, conquering nations by weakening, weakening them. But I've already been uh, opening up with that anyway. So that's absolutely a-okay. Yeah, also I don't like the sound of do this and you will be rewarded. You you will have a fair reward or whatever. Because that's definitely something they're going to twist mm -hmm. later into like. Also, historical note, it is a modern invention. The I this idea that like Athenians. Spartans were like super, super. Oh, the Athenians are just so into their plays and culture. But we are soldiers and that's superior. And we despise Athens because they have culture. Modern invention. Total modern invention. Uh, there is absolutely yeah. plenty of evidence that Sparta had their own rich culture. It just doesn't survive as well. Mm. They had their own poetry. They had their own plays. They had their own culture that may not have been quite as thriving as Athens. But the idea that Spartans despised and Athenians just because they had like you know they had they had they were they had plays and philosophy nonsense. Absolute modern invention of really modern culture. Not in any way uh, not in any way the case.
All right, John. Yes. A few things. Mm-hmm. Number one, uh, Major West Jansen uh, gave us two dollars and says, "Don't forget to level up." Uh, Which yes. Is a thing that you can do. We can do that. That's true. Uh, we can wrap up today by doing some leveling up and whatnot. Number two. Mm-hmm. Uh, shall we uh, go go onto the sea and have a shanty to close us out? Mm-hmm. Uh, my boat is nowhere near here. Oh, you can't go on a random boat. You I, just I, need to sing you, the sea shanty by the sea. It's true. I can get the sea. I could just go and find a boat. That's certainly uh that's certainly true. I mean, you know, I don't want to like embark on a boat stealing expedition that's going to take a million more years, given that uh, it is already uh, yes. You know, plot happened. Uh, plot mm. happened at a somewhat unfortunate time when we were looking to wrap up. But uh, let's see. I've got a kick. I don't need a bull rush. I don't need a. Do I have a charged heavy attack? No, I've already had that uh, one stage. Sadly, I can't upgrade my Spartan kick, which is absolutely uh, hilarious. That's just straight up more warrior damage, uh, which is just a nice easy one. It's just straight up like more uh, more hunting damage. Uh, multi-shot. Devastating shot, uh, which is fine. I could just go, you know, I'm just going to take Weapon Master. Which... Well, you can fast travel to your ship. Oh, can I? Well, there's, there's, there's ships around here, so that's all absolutely fine. Uh, which is... Wait, do I have another... <laughs> do I have another point? Why does it say how many points? Oh, I've still got another point here. Uh, okay, and then that is Rush Assassination. Yeah, apparently I've got like two points. Okay, we'll have a Rush Assassination. That sounds hilarious. We'll have that up top. So basically, yeah, we can just assassinate from super far away by tossing a dagger at people. We picked up some new stuff, including... We picked up the uh, the head hook and epic swords. Nice. So massively more damaging. Does crit damage, assassin damage, and warrior damage. That's what we got out of that place. And uh, on top of that, oh, that's oh, that's so cool. That's so sweet. That's oh. pretty damn sweet. I mean, we also got these daggers that we got off that guy that we killed. But screw that. No, oh, no, no. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. I mean, blimey, heck, that's that's pretty badass, right? Right over there. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, that I'm happy just leaving as is. And that is, hang on, right now I'm using uh, 25 with 4% uh, Assassin. That's 31 with 5 and also bonus Hunter. Uh, so that's definitely for the better. And it looks pretty badass, so I think I'll leave that as it is. Uh, but apparently I've picked up better armor. So that's 45 and 4% Assassin. That's 49 and 4% Warrior. That's 53 and 4% Assassin. So that's obviously better. But oh, it looks awful. No, thank God. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I know. Luckily, we could pretend it looks like Can you I'm... just keep the thing? Yeah. The... Lion. Oh, do you know what? I like the thing with the red sash better. I guess we could be on the red sash for a while. I don't... No, it's not me. I like having a lion on my shoulder. I like just it's oh, more. Oh, fine. The lion isn't the lion isn't separate. Fair enough. Fair yes, enough. the lion's. I can't have the lion with the red. I'm afraid it's one or the other. But that's that's a pretty epic sword mm-hmm. that we've just. That we, actually, you know, I'm on a boat right now. We, we're, we're, I'm literally on a boat ride. Uh, and we'll roll your chariot along. We'll roll your chariot along. We'll roll your chariot along and i forgot the last line yay nice. like a week and a half late we actually got it uh-huh. <laughs> uh, and the final super chat that i've got right here uh is from john who gave us five dollars and says odds of two brits play borderlands three coming well well three obviously uh, odds of two brits play borderland 3 i miss the old days of john and sam love the videos as usual shout out to claire for being awesome too well, unfortunately sam's dead so that's gonna be very difficult oh my god wait sam's alive <laughs> oh my god what a... i haven't seen sam in so long yeah sam, been... sam got a new job that like he was super excited about and was exactly what he wanted but he's become very very busy yeah uh and then he moved and then we moved so you know it's like like, you know, we're both in London, but, like, London's massive. Yeah, Sam's very Sam, Sam's very busy these days, unfortunately. Uh, but we did, if anything, if we did more Borderlands, someone, I'd get Sophie back. Because people seem to ah. like Sophie, and I love Sophie, so that would love be good. Sophie. Sophie's so good. 
Sophie's so good. Uh, yes, indeed. And shout out to Yash, who uh, gave us $5 and says, Claire, if you have a lion on your shoulder, that makes you a walking endorsement for cats. But the problem is he put cats with a capital letter, uh, capital C, which I'm assuming. Do you mean cats yeah. in musical or like cats in general? Because one of these we like and the other. Why are you two... Should, we, should I get involved in this? You need to. Oh, okay. That, no, no. Okay, they will both. Is it like that event in uh, in? Uh, is it like that event in FTL where you tried to separate the two ships, but they were actually boning? I think so. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pay sixty bounty to to make that go away. Mm -hmm. There we go. Apparently that was. Mo I thought that guy was being a dick to that, some <laughs> other guy. Oh no, Sam lives on a farm of state now. Yes, he does. That's that's exactly where Sam lives. With no oh, phones. With no uh... phones. Right, shall we wrap up, Claire? Because it looks to me like, yeah, what yeah. we've got to do now, we've kind of we've got ourselves nice and updated here, which is very, very nice indeed. And yeah, there's another level nine thing. That's 32 32 and warrior, but I don't want 32 and warrior, I want 32 on assassin. Like my my assassin damage is now to three thousand uh three thousand three hundred and forty two, which is pretty bloody good if I do say so myself. We've killed uh this guy. There's a, there's another guy over here. There's there's Christina the Glutton who might need to be uh taken out at some point. So I'm not sure whether you're floating or oh that's uh it it's actually it's a woman. There we go. We got ourselves, we got ourselves another person to kill there. That's nice. So we might go and murder you at some point. But yeah, it feels like now the game's basically saying, hey, go and murder the people of uh, Megara. So like, you know, burn some supplies, uh, kill Athenian soldiers, uh, killing captains has a greater impact. Uh, yeah, just take out uh, the treasure trove. But it feels like we've already done plenty of the groundwork for that. So we should be able to go in and do that pretty quickly. So how about we just do that now? It shouldn't take more than a... No! We'll do that next time, ladies and gentlemen. This will be back as a vote at some point. Absolutely. This will be back as a vote. Uh, have we figured out how to turn off the live stream yet? Yes, I can see the button. Excellent. We know we know how to do it. Oh, I think the, I think those guys were grieving because their town's just been burnt down by Spartans. Then I came and murdered them. <laughs> but I'm working for the Spartans, so that's legit. That's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Anyway, shout out to Air Terranian who gave us two pounds and says soon from hearing you sing the shanty. Oh. Uh, and then we have puppies. <gasps> puppies. Uh, <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, I'm putting them in the chat and then I'll show them to John uh, afterwards because we're yeah. wrapping up now. Hang uh, on. So thank you, uh, Sarah. What do you mean, hang on? There's a ship with a dog on it. And the game said, look for a ship guarded by a puppy. And then look for where X marks the spots. X marks the spot around very close by to this ship. X marks the, X marks the spot. Those vaguely form an X, don't they? Yeah, totally. Get out your spade! X marks the spot close by to a ship. Let me go over to my bird, because my bird's good for figuring shit out. I like the riddles, because the riddles are the one bit where the game doesn't say, hey, it just, you know, it just says, hey, look over there, it's over there. That's where it is. The riddles are the one bit where the game actually figure it out. So it's not on the boat itself. Can you see an X or anything that looks like it would logically be an X close by to this boat? Could be, it doesn't necessarily mean it's on land. And it could be on the boat itself. Ah, hang on, look. Oh. It is on the boat. Cool. But I'm, I think I'm allowed to be here. So, interact. And new ungraving! Sweet. The problem is, what if the dog knows I did it? No, he's a good boy. The dog doesn't get stabbed. 
Uh, and shout out to Michael uh, Galloway who gave us two points. Ah. And he says, I always support my Sophie. Hashtag sect off Sophie. That's Sophie's Michael, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, fair enough. And shout out to Yash who, uh, I mean, sect of Sophie was very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and shout out to Yash who gave us $5 and says, John, the town is burned because you accidentally <sighs> saved some people with the plague on Kefalonia. If I recall correctly. Uh, bit, 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 bit. I didn't even mean to, so don't feel bad about that. That was an uh, accident. All right. Remember you were trying to wrap up. Yep. Yeah, so then we I, can go feed the cat. Then I kept seeing more treasure. John, there's I'm li- very hungry. I know, but there's literally treasure right here. I know, but... Treasure! Ba, 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 ba. Okay, that's it. That's the end. That's that's the end of the. I, I need to see to escape from this camp. Is that, is that gear actually any good? This is a really compelling game, by the way. You may have noticed. Mm-hmm. This is a really, really compelling game. Oh, it's warrior damage. Boring. For Riona Rama. Uh, okay, we're just going to get out of there. So, this will be back soon, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, when it is, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, murdering all the people. In Megra, which is great fun. We've already made a good start there. We've already kind of, you know, started weakening them, which is absolutely fine. So we're going to wrap things up there. We're going to go eat some food. We're going to feed Tabby. It's going to be absolutely lovely. Thank you all so very, very much for coming along here. Let's see if I can figure out how this bloody works. This is no new YouTube. I've got a preview and everything. There's I, I, a massive button that says end the stream, John. I can right? see that, but I've also got, like, I've got my analytics suite right here, mm-hmm. which is fine. That's a useful function. We've got some analytics stuff that we didn't used to have in the old version which is nice you're not using this though are you you're using something else yeah because uh can you see how like it's in a tab and you can't hide the chat and yeah. you can't hide the other stuff and like yeah i kind of need to i have like three really skinny windows right because i have um one one window for i have a google doc open with all the super chats and then i can reorder them and stuff yeah like i have the chat on one side of my screen and in the middle I have all of the super chats in order as they come on YouTube. Yeah. And then I have another um, another page where I can order them and delete them when I've read them out. Yes. We're um, gonna we're gonna try and figure system. it out. We're gonna try and figure it out. We'll be back. Uh, there'll be a live stream this weekend, of course. Oh, but but okay, the big one. Tomorrow, secret video. So secret I can't talk about it yet. Alright? Tomorrow, secret video. Secret. Secret video. Can't discuss it in the slightest. Very exciting secret video tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so very much for coming out tonight. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. Hopefully, we'll see you on Saturday. More live streams coming up the usual days. Uh, and just indeed, Assassin's Creed Odyssey will be back soon as well. Floating around to vote. People do seem to be loving it. I'm loving it too. So we'll definitely do a little bit more of that. Thank you all so very, very much for coming along to the Super Chat donators, to the patrons. We're coming up towards the end of the month. So patrons, keep your eye out for uh, Patreoncast submission thread. And of course, channel members do get to uh, take part in that too. We have recently made that change as of last month. So if you're a channel member, keep your eye on the um, community tab. You'll have the option to contribute to the Patreoncast. The Patreoncast will be made available to you as well. So thank you all so very, very much for coming along. And yeah, uh, secret thing coming up tomorrow. Very exciting. Watch this space. Secret thing. So that is, yes, coming up tomorrow. It's going to be really, really damn cool. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. This has been Benny a True Nerd, and this has been Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Goodbye.